What do you think are the best character buffs in Binding of Isaac? Welcome to the video. This is another tier list video with me and Turt. Say hi, Turt. Hi, I'm Turt, and I think Missing No is a good item. Missing No is a terrible item. Um, yeah, no. So over the years, there's a lot of characters that got buffed uh, through different updates. Um, this is specifically Rebirth. Did, did Wrath of the Lamb get character buffs? I feel like it probably did, right? Uh, it probably did, but we're, yeah, not we're just doing um, we're not from from rebirth, and then uh, we got some repentance buffs as well. Yeah, so like if Basically it got buffed, whole, yeah, if it got buffed in afterbirth slash afterbirth plus slash repentance, uh, we're focusing a lot on specific buffs. Uh, like you know, I feel like this is a good one to start off with because everybody knows this buff, right? Uh, yeah. Isaac D six. Um, this is like one of the first things that people go to unlock yeah. because it's just it makes the best character in the game yeah for a so, lot of people so this is even though even though um isaac getting d6 happened in rebirth any character unlock like any unlock you get in the game that right. buffs the character we are counting and then any um change between dlcs we count yeah um or even updates and then for the tainted characters for the tainted characters um some version changes between uh from the start of appendix to the end we are counting as well mm-hmm all right, so with D6, um, oh, I should also mention, for this whole list, uh, we're not talking about the about how good the character is with that buff. We're talking about how much it impacts the character, right? Yeah, like how for much better the character got. Exactly. So even though Isaac D6 is, like, like easily top three best characters, right? Um, yeah. You know, he's not going to be in a game changer. I mean, I don't know. It is kind of a game changer, though, when I think about it. Well, but... he was... He was a basic nothing character before. So I, I do think this one is probably... It's not fair compared to some of the... It's not fair compared to some of the other ones that we're going to get to. Yeah, at so, the very yeah. least he wasn't bad. He was just... Nothing. It is still he huge, was just though. the most average. It is it, definitely huge. It is still huge when you think about it. Like, when you unlock that D6 after beating... Uh, what is it? Isaac is Blue Baby? Whoo! Well, That's you're huge. starting every run with an S-tier item. <laughs> it's Sorry. so free, bro. It's like you're starting the run with Brimstone, bro. This, I, I can see <laughs> this going to Game Changer, but it'll probably be the bottom of Game Changer. I can actually see I that, too. I do think it's very big. Um, I think we might just wait on it, but this is definitely... This is huge. Somewhere up here. <laughs> this is huge, bro. I think it's either on the top of huge or the bottom of Game Changer. Yeah, we, we can come back to it. But yeah, I mean, this is a perfect yeah. example of a, a very great buff. And it's Actually, I think we're in Game Changer for now. It does change the game. It really does. It's a more. completely different character. And now character. you have an S tier item. You're yeah. not wrong. You're a basic ass character, and suddenly, suddenly you're the best character ever. <laughs> you're one of the best characters in the game. That is kind of crazy, item. actually. Items, when I look at it like that, on their own. <laughs> like, when I when I look at it like that, Isaac at base is like a CT character. And like, then he's instantly game changed. Like he's just well, best. Isaac, Isaac base is literally the cutoff point between characters that are like actually bad, like are detrimental that make right. it, make it harder. He is the cutoff point because he is the basic character. He's no, got no disadvantages wrong. and no advantages. But then you become like top three. <laughs> like no, you're right. You're right. You're right. It is a game changer. You're right. You're absolutely right. I mean, I guess we'll see. Uh, let, let's just move on. So this is actually an interesting yeah. one. Um, I love talking about this because a lot of people who started in Repentance and never played Afterbirth Plus don't know about this one. Um, the April Fool's Challenge, I believe, unlocks Maggie to hold a pill. Yep. And in Afterbirth Plus, yep. was it Plus or was it Afterbirth? Afterbirth Plus. Afterbirth Plus. Okay. Uh, yeah, you beat the April Fool's Challenge. Maggie always held a speed pill. It was always a speed pill every single run. And it would bring her to exactly 1.0 speed. And... Yep. I always said I loved that buff because I feel like, oh, I love this comparison. Uh, I, I guess I'm just going to explain the whole story, basically. So she gets a speed buff for all of After Earth Plus. Then Repentance comes out. They actually change it to a full health pill. It's a guaranteed yep. full health pill. There are benefits to both. I will, I will both. add a minor thing. Uh, the full health pill unlock now also guarantees that health up pills are in rotation. There's mm -hmm. a minor thing that's like not that well known. Um, I didn't know about it until I was making this list, actually. <laughs> um, Interesting. So, um, yeah, so you have full health and HP up in rotation and repentance, but in but you only start with the full health. 
But in After Plus, you have speed up, you start with it, and then it's in rotation, obviously. Um, so, it, it, this is a hard one, because obviously, okay, the thing with speed up, like, I'm saying this is hard because I'm comparing these two. Obviously, none, neither of these are game changer, but, um, yep. but these are really good buffs either way, both of these. Um, yeah. Speed up. Ah, because speed up literally gets rid of her weakness, just flat out. Yeah. Her, her weakness I is her say, low speed. I, um, again, this is just how good, um, like, how much better the character gets. It's not based on, like, how much we like the buff. I personally like the full health buff way more. I think I it do. Fits Maggie's character. It does. It does. But we're it not fits her that. better. It's just how good the buff is, like, how much better the character gets. Um, right. So, yeah, speed up removes Maggie's downside. Um, she just has no yeah, downside. Removes it. She has yum heart. And then... Neutral speed. On average, you actually become faster than other characters because you guarantee speed up in rotation and you know the color of it. So you can get more speed ups. You That's actually true. become one of the faster characters. Um, which is kind of funny. You go from being the slow tanky character to now you're a fast tanky character. <laughs> um, I mean, it really makes boss rush so much easier. I, I always say, like, I, I, yeah. I like I like to count uh, achievements in rankings. Um, boss rush and hush are so much easier with this included. Um, but yeah. full health lets you min-max floor one with sacrifice rooms. I I personally, I'll say this, I personally think the full health is better. Really? I think they're comparable, think the full health, honestly. They are comparable. I think they're close, but I think the full health is better. Um, I can Especially see now that I know you also get health up guaranteed in rotation. Um, that's also really good. Um, hmm. I do think, I, honestly, I, I, I kind of feel like they're right next to each other no matter where they go i i also think they're probably very close to each other um it, when that change was announced in repentance i was like i'm not sure if this is a good or a bad thing like, exactly like well group. you um, know what which... no i honestly at first i thought it was only a bad thing but then i started to realize the min max potential like floor one you start I playing mean, with maggie and you can get a sacrifice room first floor with and very even without little like help even without min max let's be real on the character with the most health in the game a full health pill you could save that for the entire run like it's yeah. so op against bosses I mean, if you have a lot of health if you max out your red hearts and you have a full health pill going to the final boss you will win yeah you'll always you win. just will you'd have to play really bad to lose that <laughs> and doesn't maggie have like a higher chance to get health ups am i wrong about that well that i think i think the reason you think that is because you get the health up pills in rotation that must be why you think that because you don't get hp up items more often but you do get health up more often in the form of pills it's guaranteed in a rotation interesting um okay uh I, no matter what i think they're both next to each other do what do we think it's huge is my i actually question. do i was gonna put them both in huge with full health above speed up i think okay i'm actually okay with that i'm actually oh, okay no, with the that. red line we got reintroduced in no <laughs> hold on wait wait, wait. Hey, hey, <laughs> the fix. <laughs> Saved. I, I'm okay with. I, I'm okay with this for now. Um. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, there are Before definitely pill, benefits like, to you, both. You will get that first floor. Like, if you get a first floor second room as Maggie, I, I just think it's so much more impactful because the speed up. Yes, it's nice and it does help every run. But any run, you get like a floor one or two second room as Maggie. You can just sometimes win the run. Like no, you're right. Of floor one or two. You're right. Like speed up is very nice, but like you're not winning a run because of the speed up. I mean, you might not die yeah. early because of it, but like, I don't know. I mean, you can say the same thing about full health. Let's say you're, you know, a yeah. noob and you're dying to enemies. You can still full health pill, <laughs> like <laughs> floor one yeah. if you really need to. Yeah, I don't know. I, I definitely. This is fair. This is fair. Um. Oh, no, here we Dang, go. The most OP buff in the game right here. <laughs> Paperclip Kane, bro. <laughs> what? How does he unlock this? Uh, uh, greed mode. Oh, okay, that makes enough, sense. Uh, in the machine, yeah. This is, like, probably the worst greed mode unlock. <laughs> um, I mean, okay, what? Yeah, this is one of those things that you don't need. I think this, this might be... This is irrelevant, I mean, is right. it not? I don't think it's irrelevant. You I don't know. Things. What else... I mean, this, uh, you do save keys, but what else is more irrelevant? I mean, I guess there are more irrelevant things. I, I can think of quite a few things that are more relevant. I think this is all right. Okay, this it only right. save, saves you keys on chests, right? Yes. Uh... But you have, 
You have when do you not replace this with a different trinket the moment you can, though? Yeah, you've... I, I actually... This is one of the trinket... Okay, there's a lot of trinkets in the game that do basically nothing. I sometimes on cane runs will keep this for quite a while. I mean, yeah, because trinkets are rare. I do too. Probably yeah. like half the run. And like, you sometimes get trinkets that are just crap. <laughs> and yeah. you don't want them. But this is a, like... And you could gulp this and it's, it's like... It's not that much, but it's... It's, it's just something. Nice. I mean, it's sight! <laughs> It's just all right. I mean, it's it all right. might go down. I can see it going down, but I think it's just all right. Yeah, I, I think, think it okay. could go to the top of Irrelevant, but we'll leave it there for now. Yeah. Um. Okay. Retent oh, this is a tank. big one. Oh, this is a big one, dude. So in Flash Isaac, Repentance... Um, In Flash Isaac, Kane used to be, I would say, probably top <laughs> Repentance two in Flash Isaac? <laughs> yes. Um, because Lucky Foot gave him positive pill effects. And they took that away in Rebirth, and it was really sad. And, like, playing After Death Plus with Kane, he just felt like he was missing something. Like, it yeah. felt like he got nerfed, like, for no reason. And Repentance brought back the positive pill effects from Lucky Foot. I think it's a really good buff. It's um, an insane... I would actually say it's an insane buff. It changes the character. Uh, is it enough for like, Game Changer? You just get Maybe so many not. free... You get so many free stat ops. But it is... It is, it is literally bad, just... Like, it is literally just PhD. Like... <laughs> yeah. Well, you don't get the pills identified. That's the only downside. Yeah, but, but who cares? Really They're matter. all just good. Pop yeah. It. yeah, who <laughs> just cares? Just pop it and it's going to be good. Um, is there yeah, ever, is there ever a negative... You get range up immediately. With Luckfoot, is there ever a negative pill that you could take? I don't think so. Um, I think, arguably, you can get tele pills, which can be bad on certain I pills. guess. But, but like, like it, most of the time, you only pop uh, a you pill... Could, like, with no enemies, And so. you can get gulp. You can get gulp if you're holding a bad trinket. Although mm. you're cane with paperclip. So you're, so not you're holding gulp a bad it! Trinket. Yes, sir. Because <laughs> uh, sometimes you will... Sometimes you will use a pill and you're holding, like, left hand and then you gulp it. And you're like, I didn't want this forever. I wanted it now. I didn't want it forever. Uh, but... I think... I think good <laughs> pills... Hey, tell me if I'm wrong. Good pills for the entire run? Better than guaranteed full health pill, maybe? What are we Ooh. thinking? Ooh... Okay, maybe I can a, see it being in huge. Maybe a bit of I, a strong I, opinion, but I don't know, man. The entire run, good pills. That's a big buff. You will be getting a lot of stat ups. So many stat ups. Sometimes, so many sometimes stat -ups. there's like a risk that um, you might like get tears down early in the game, and it's just annoying. But and now you don't get the that. Tears up. Like you've changed the the bad start from taking the unidentified pill. Now it's a good start because you took an unidentified Bro, pill. I don't know, like, man. It seems pretty good. It it's is pretty, pretty good. Huge. Um. Okay, let me just check. Can I get like a list of? The I do honestly think that's pretty huge. That changes the character. It really does. Like Kane used to be pretty basic in at least in Rebirth, like. Now he's just like he's interesting, you know. He has a big buff. You know, when I was uh, doing a bunch of runs trying to beat the game uh, with no items, um, Kane was honestly one of the characters I considered because you could get good pills the entire run, right? Or you can max out your tier stat. Mm -hmm. uh, that's basically it. <laughs> but you can't well, I, I know, stat. but it, it was something I considered at least. All right, <laughs> good pills are well, nice yeah, to have. No, no. You also you also can get a lot of health as Kane by playing. Uh, Fortune Machines, but that's beside the point. Um, this is the only Repentance buff, right? By the way? Just uh, the yes, foot? it's just the positive pills. Um, I don't know. I do actually think it's better than the Maggies. Oh, I will actually say there is one downside to having what? positive pill effects. What? Bad Trip used to become full health, but now Bad Trip becomes Balls of Steel, which is usually good. However, um, in case someone doesn't know, uh, if you use a Bad Trip pill while you're at... I, that's a, I, I don't agree with it's that at all. I think almost no, 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 no. all the time, not, almost all the time, you'd rather not, have the balls of steel because you don't. No, I'm not you can't identify it's it. Always worse. I'm just saying there are definitely situations where I'm on a red health run and I get a bad trip. Like I, I, I had bad trip pill in rotation, and now I had positive pills. And it's honestly, steel, and I'm like, honestly, what you just said made me like him way more. Bad trip turns into balls of steel. That's insane. That's insane. It is good. That no, it that's insane. Good. That's great. <laughs> that's I, great. I prefer it being full health, to be honest. Oh, actually, no. Bad, no okay. Balls, balls of steel steel's is way insane. better. Come on, because you can't identify it, it. If you if you use full health, because like, remember, you don't know what the pill is. You have to find two of that same pill. 
It's not PhD. You yeah. can't identify it. I guess. Rather just get the two soul hearts. Move yeah. on. Boulder Steel is better for most of the run, but there are some runs where I would rather have the. But again, you need two of the same pill. Because you're never not just popping the pill after a room. You're not going to use I a random so. ass pill mid yeah. boss if you get telepill. Uh, okay. I don't know. This is definitely a good buff. I don't know how how good it is. Okay, okay, fine. Where, where do you want to put it? I'm not sure. I, I, I'm, I'm considering if the full health... I don't think the speed up is better, but I, the full health might be better. I mean, I get the fact that full health is guaranteed, but like... <sighs> but you can play that early stack room that you couldn't play before. And sack rooms can give you angel items, or they can give you... Okay, okay, think about it like this. Maggie, you get an early sack room. You might not get an angel item, but at the very least, you're either getting, what, seven soul hearts or 30 coins? That's insane early on. It is. Like, both of those are insane early on. <laughs> All right, maybe um, maybe you've convinced me. How about here? I think the high roll potential for Maggie is a lot higher, and then even if you don't high roll, you still have the full health pill for any point of the run you need it. Well, Kane. Yes, the good pills are really nice, but I don't think they give him as big of a buff. I think the full health pill gets a bit more use out of Maggie. Okay. So is this good? I think that's good. All right. Uh, okay. I wonder you... if you know what this one is. I don't think I do. What is this? Okay. Uh, Book of Lyle used to not stack if you use it multiple times in a room, and now it does. Oh, that was in Repentance, really? Yeah, that was in Repentance. Um, Keep oh. in mind, the second, every subsequent use in a room only gives you plus one damage rather than plus two damage. So it's not as good, but it does still stack before it gave you nothing, so it's definitely a buff. Um, All right, where would you put this? I'm, I'm curious. Ooh, okay. This is, in, okay, it doesn't sound that useful. Because I have, like, a, I have, okay, a, plot, I, I have a plot twist for you on this one. Okay, okay. Um, I'll, I'll just talk about it a bit longer. Um, It doesn't sound that good, but then think about, like, any battery items usually will synergize with this. Like car battery, always will synergize. Uh, if you have the regular battery that gives you double charges, you can save both charges to the boss and use them both. Um, and But also, like even besides that, yes, you have battery items. This is always relevant in greed mode. This is like a big buff to greed mode. It's always relevant in boss rush by quite a lot as well. And it's not that relevant, but it is relevant against the beast as well. So there's three completion marks that guarantee this will help. Hey, you um, took you took my yeah, point. I was mode. I was gonna bring up boss rush and greed mode. You you got me there. Yeah, boss rush and greed mode is quite quite big. Like you're getting a lot of extra damage. Um. Yeah, like it's. I actually do you think you still synergize with like all the battery items. Yeah, I think you, it's at least good. I I agree. I was gonna say the same thing. I think it's good because like, yes, those are like some like specific achievements, but like the fact that it's like. For example, I would argue this is one of the best greed mode characters because of that buff. Yeah, like he went from he was a good greed mode character before because he had Book of Lyle the whole. Because he's he's but now he's like suddenly one of the best ones. Yeah, like he's one like he's like discount Lilith, right? Like he just gets yeah. more damage. Lilith's still better, but yeah, definitely. Like, but you just stack that damage and it's kind of crazy. So and yeah, also I, four point five volt got added in repentance. Four point five volt got added in repentance. It's a great synergy with four point five volt. Yeah, I think good's very. We're not gonna fair. count that it's, too it's much because, like, it's still yeah. it's still a little you know definitely compared to these it's a little niche, but I still think it's good, definitely. Yeah. Um, Ooh, repentance, blue baby. This is a good one. Um, so repentance. Let me read out the exact uh, things. Okay. This is the one that lets um, him when he shoots a poop, it spawns a blue fly, right? Yes, yeah, so you have the innate little lava effect. So every time you uh, destroy poop, you get one blue fly. But also your devil deals. I don't now need to hear anything else. The red hot cost. I didn't need to hear anything else. You get blue flies from every poop. Come on, dog. I I think the devil deal thing is. Worse. That's a game You're changer joking. right there. You're you joking. get okay. <laughs> you get blue flies from every poop, bro. I I thought you were serious for a minute. <laughs> no, the actual good buff. The actual good buff. I mean, the little other thing's nice. But the actual good buff is that your devil deals now cost the red hot cost. So most deals will cost yeah, one that's soul insane. heart. That's actually a really good And buff. the two heart deals only cost two soul hearts. Um, that's such a good there's buff. There's a lot of items you uh, that are free. Like you find the mark in your devil deal, you're spending a soul heart to get a black heart. It's free. Um, The pact, the pact is a two heart deal, is it? Or is it one heart? Oh yeah, it would be Either a two way, heart deal is, and then you get your soul hearts back. Yeah, Um, ceremonial robes, you gain two black hearts. 
Wow. <laughs> like, you gain health when you take ceremonial robes. I, I'm gonna be honest, um, I think this is huge. I think it's at least huge. Um, I don't think it's quite Game Changer, because Game Changer is, like, a bit of a higher economy. Yeah, it's top of huge. Yeah, no, D6 is definitely way more relevant than those buffs, but... Um... I feel like D6 is a good bottom game changer to, like... Yeah. To, like, judge yeah. it on. Like, the the relevance of D6 is kind of insane. Um, yeah. Is this better this is really than the nice. full health pill? I mean, it's I nice. It I, I actually... It this I, don't, I don't know. Run. Well, I don't know, because you gotta think about it, right? You said it's nice, but it's not guaranteed like that first floor sack room with full health, right? I mean, I guess Devil well, no, Deal is... is no, you can no, because your, Devil Deal is guaranteed, go basically, with every baby. Yeah. Never mind, you're right. And before, you kind of had to go Angel Room. Before, you kind of had to go Angel Room because the Devil Deals were too costly. I mean, you could go Devil Deal, but you probably should go Angel. But now, but now I actually you think can... going Devil's better. They're yeah. so cheap, and you gain health in a lot of deals, or they're free. Like, <laughs> no, you're, you're right. kind of a discount, like, after plus lost. We could just take all the Devil Deals. That's kind of Blue Baby now. Like... <laughs> There's Not to mention the blue up. fly poops, bro. They carry. Okay, that's, a, that's a meme. That's a meme, but it's not even that bad. Because you could just save all of your poops, and then right before you beat the boss, just break them all. True. And then you would just shred the first floor boss. That's actually if a strat. Like a For some first, reason, I've never thought a, to do that, but that's actually a strat. If you, get a, if you get a tough first floor boss, like Ragman, or like the Haunt, or something, that's a lot of help. I'm just saying, you can do that late game, get freaking, you know, you're on the void, you get like, you, can do it late game. you get like 30 blue flies running up on delirium. I, that's like, I do like two percent. That's like 10 percent, 10 percent of its health, bro. It's they follow 10%. your damage. It's not 10 percent. It's, it's five percent at max. Nah, they're like three times your damage or something like that, bro. I crap cash. Anyway, 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 I think I think he goes there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, I, I, for some uh, reason, when I, when I was originally ranking, I forgot that he got guaranteed double deals because, you know, obviously he has all soul hearts, but yeah, that's great. Yeah. Um, you know what? I have a hot take about this one, um, but I want you to rank it first. Um, okay. Oh, your, your hot take's going to be that it's not that good because <laughs> you mentioned this a bit, a bit before. Um, I do think it's good. It's not huge. It's just good. I agree enough with that, but I think it's bottom good. Uh, I kind of... Is it better than Judas's stacking book? I think it's more relevant, because you can just... But I don't like, know, it's just convenient that you're never it is. Stuck. I think the def... I think keyword there is that it's convenient. There are so many times where this is not relevant, where I'd even go as far to say that this is irrelevant. Like... So many times in Eve runs, first thing I do is damage myself to a fire. Yeah, it's nice. Now I can just use razor, razor Blade to do that instead. But, like, nobody is really running. If, if you're running an optimal Eve run, nobody is actually running red health on Eve. It's a Devil Deal character. You get rid of all your red health. Yeah. Like, yeah, I get the idea. I ran a red health run, the only time I ran a red health run on Eve intentionally was I got Birthright second floor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I mean, that's, but that's a different scenario. Well, Obviously, that's, that's very, that's, that's very different. specific. Yeah, that's very specific. Yeah. Um, like, I get it. I, I do get it. The idea is that, let's say you have four hearts and the rest are soul hearts, right? You could use Razor Blade three times, get Horror Babylon stacked on top of, you know, the, the Horror Babylon. In theory, that's really strong, but that's only happening against one boss and you have to save all that health and go through all those rooms with no damage at that point. Because, right, you have okay, your full health I, I just, I just see this as a way to guarantee that you can keep your Horror Babylon up. And, and I, I agree. I agree. It's, I out of it. it's convenient because you don't have to find a blood donation machine. That's why I think I, it's, I it's think good. There's, I think there's a nice um, element to this where, obviously, as Eve, you want to go Devil Deals and you want to get rid of your red health. You want to be at zero red heart. However... You also want to be able to take your Devil Deals. If you have all Soul Hearts, you're going to have to spend a lot on your Devil Deals. But usually you, you want... only need one. And the fact, you usually yeah. only need one well, Red Heart. And that, usually that won't matter for uh, Razor Blade. Razor Blade, Razor Blade lets you take every HP up that spawns. Assuming you're getting Devil Deals. If you're not getting Devil Deals at all and you're taking every HP up that spawns, then don't do that because you're going to have too much Red Health. But usually on an Eve run, you can take every Devil Deal you see. And then you can also take every Red HP you see. And if you go out to two or three red hearts, it's not a problem because you have Razor Blade. 
and then you're you can get right. rid of them in the next devil deal. You're right, but I still keep going to the point where that point is just convenience. Because almost always you're spawning an arcade with a blood donation machine. And guess what? Ivy bag is almost guaranteed every run. It's just better. I will, Ivy I will bag say, is just I better. I almost always... I almost always on Eve, I will eventually get an Ivy bag and I will yeah, replace it with Ivy bag. I agree. Almost all the time. And it's almost and guaranteed. All it's almost guaranteed. Yeah. Like, so, I don't know. I really think, again, I do think it's convenient. I don't think it's as good as people make it out to be. Like, compared to a lot of these you other buffs. You can kind of see that. Like, I, I, even, I would even argue. Right here, at least. I, yeah, I agree, honestly. Because when I really look at Paperclip, I'm like, no, it's better than that. <laughs> it's definitely better than that. Yeah. Uh, but I can but, see Judas being better. The, the book of yeah, because Judas's buff carries him for three of the achievements. You know, like those are on, those yeah. are that's honestly a really good buff for those achievements. Yes, it's for to those be fair though, but... um, Razor Blade can kind of. I mean, okay, I would still say it doesn't. But if you still have Razor Blade by Boss Rush, um, all the red hearts that which drop, you don't, you can Razor Blade. In you're the not boss getting the Boss Rush, rush you if you're have keeping. Razor Blade by then. You, you won't, won't because you're not by beating then. the rooms fast enough if you don't have your damage up, bruh. You just won't. No, no, what I mean. Well, Horror Babylon will stay for the whole room if you use it. Oh, no, I'm uh, talking about I'm state. talking about you're not making the boss rush requirement. You're not beating Mom within 20 minutes if you're keeping red health that whole time. No, I mean, if you have, like, one container. Oh, it still keeps well, then I guess. I guess this one You're in the boss rush room. You can raise blade it, pick up a red health. Raise blade it, pick up a red health. And, like... Yeah, but... Uh, uh, yes. Uh, yes. That's pretty but... minor. I usually don't have raise blade by that point in the run. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'll always get rid of it for either IV bag or something. Um, yeah, I, I think this is fair. Have I convinced you that it's I think under it goes Judas? Right there. I, I I do think yeah, it goes right there. Okay. Okay. Um, time for the most. Uh, it's not the most relevant, but it's close. Okay, this um, is a good. This, this is a good time to mention that we're not counting nerfs here. We're specifically talking about the buffs, right? Yes. Although I don't think there's a nerf here. <laughs> That's a weird time for you to mention that actually. What's the oh nerf? wait, I'm so sorry. I was talking about Tainted Eve. I'm sorry. I'm tripping. Okay, okay. Tiny Eve's not on here because Tiny Eve just got nerfed. Yeah, she, she's got nerfed. Oh, I thought cool. there was like some niche thing that got buffed and that's why you included it. Yeah. By the way, can we get a shout out to Turt for making this awesome tier list? Look how nice everything looks. Go I'm check, surprised Go check him out in the description. Go check him out in the description, bro. Anyway, what were you going to say you, here? Thank you, thank you. You know, now that, you, now that we kind of changed our philosophy and we're going to include like buffs, we maybe should have included Tiny Eve, but whatever. Uh, <laughs> whatever. It was mostly a nerf to her character and it happened in the same way. It would have been irrelevant. Let's be whatever. real. Yeah. Um, okay. This buff, all it is, is that Razor Blade now, every subsequent use, so the first one still takes a full heart, but the subsequent uses now take half a heart. They used to take a full heart as well. That is all this is. This is irrelevant. <laughs> Wait, can you explain that to me again? I zoned out so hard. Okay. In After Earth Plus, every time you use Razor Blade, it's a full heart taken away. In Repentance, the first time you use it in a room, it's a full heart. But every subsequent use in that same room, it only takes away half a red heart. That what is all fun. this is. I would say it's I. <laughs> is... I would say it's I if it's always half a heart. The fact that, like, the first time it's the always... The first hit is still a full heart, yes. Yeah, that's, that's freaking lame. <laughs> that's freaking lame. Why? It's why? We were why, they not, about... why did they not just make it half a heart every time? Why did they specify, no, the first time uh, you use it in know. a room... <laughs> I would actually put it. In, I, I would. Know. I would put it above Kane if it was. If it was always. Because I will honestly, say, I can see um, that. slight, slight things you consider on actual Eve with Raised Blade is you get like curse rooms for free. You can, um, well, not always for free, but you can kind of protect some soul hearts. But it's not that big a deal. Again, you still usually get an Ivy bag instead. But yeah, we were just talking about how the Ra Razor Blade might be a bit overrated, and this is a very minor buff to the Razor Blade, so it's irrelevant. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty um, irrelevant. I, I, I didn't even know that. So like. Yeah, no, I missed I missed that one the first time making the list. I just missed it. <laughs> I mean, it definitely um, it's definitely a buff, but I, I, it's just irrelevant. That, yeah, there's it's a irrelevant, tier for it. Yeah. It's irrelevant. I included um, everything. Okay, I included all the minor buffs. No, I respect that. That's I, I respect that. Yeah. I respect that. This it's is a personal. Though. This is a personal favorite of mine. Uh, Sam with Child's Heart. This is uh, gotten by beating the literal Ultra worst hard. challenge in the game. <laughs> I hate that challenge. Ultra hard. Um, Ultra hard isn't even that okay. It is hard, but it's, it's get the frig out of here. It, it's just get the frig out of here if you think it's not hard. I mean, it's also a reset. No, it is hard, fest, but, but it's just annoying. It is annoying. Uh, why is it so annoying? <laughs> anyway, um, 
But yeah, I, I do honestly think, even though this seems low-key irrelevant, like on the outset, it gives him the Trinket Child's Heart, which spawns more red hearts. But you gotta think about the character it's going on. Like, it's not like this is just going on Isaac, right? This is a character that strives for red health and heart pickups, for that matter. Getting more yeah. red health pickups on this character... I mean, what's the extra chance for Child's Heart? That's what I want to hear. Do you have a percentage um, for it's, me? Okay, it's 10% on room clear. That will also... If That's there a were, lot, would have been a room clear reward. For every it room? It will replace that reward with a red heart. So the for... only downside to this... The only downside to this is, let's say you're low on keys. You can clear a room. It might have been a key drop. But if you hit the 10% for Child's Heart, it will replace the key drop with a red heart. I that guess. That's the only downside. I guess, um, but, you know, to counteract that, I'd rather have red health on a Samson run any day. I really would. Over a key. I mean, I know you just said if you need a key, but screw it. I'll get a higher that, planetarium chance. He doesn't need items. He just needs on, health. If you're low on keys, if you're low on keys, just drop the child's heart and then pick it up at the end of the floor and bring it with you. Like, it's not that big a deal. I guess um, that's true. That's true. Um, yeah, like, what I'll do is if I don't need more red health for whatever reason, I will just drop it. Like, if I've maxed out my bloody lust... I'll just drop it if I want other consumables, or if I have enough consumables, then I don't even care. So, um, it also, um, it also will, uh, let me just read more on the child's heart. Uh, it replaces chest drops as well. Gives a 33% chance of adding a heart to the rewards from opening certain chests or, or destroying tinted rocks, certain machines, and certain beggars. I think 33% chance to get an extra heart when you open a chest or destroy a beggar or something. I think that's this, quite good. this buff is very comparable. Tell me if I'm wrong. This is very comparable to Kane. Because Ooh, it is... Now I wouldn't... No, because hear me out. Just like Kane, you're buffing his whole run with this one buff. It's not like Tainted... I mean, regular mag with the full health pill where you instantly get gratification with min-max. The entire run, you're seeking the benefits. Maybe you don't notice it in the run because, you know, it's not as obvious as the pills with Kane. But... The 10% extra hearts for every room is a lot. You know how many rooms you're going through? You get so much health. You can, you can, you can get so much health for blood donos. IV bag can be stacked. This is one of the best characters to break shops in half once you get that IV yeah, bag. Yeah, you want to get IV over. bag. IV bag of Samson is one of the best items. You can it get. is. It um, is. And this child's heart, it makes it work. Without child's heart... It's so much harder to min-max as Samson. I'll say it right now. It actually is. Uh, yeah, I also think the 33% the on opening chests and stuff is quite huge. That's huge. <laughs> like, that's quite a high chance to get now, a heart. Now, I can see the argument behind... I can see the argument for behind him or above him. But I do actually think he's right next to him. I think it's very comparable. Like, it doesn't seem like it me. would. It doesn't uh, seem like it would. For whatever. But you instantly, like... The entire run, you're going to see these benefits. I will say this, and this might be just an issue on my part. It probably is. I I kind of drop this trinket quite a lot of the time. I will, um... I only I, will late game. I, that, that, um... The, I, I really wish it didn't replace rewards that you could have gotten otherwise. Um, because I, I will, I'll be bothered by that. I'm like, oh, I don't need health this floor. I'd rather have bombs and keys as my, as my drops. So I'll drop it. And sometimes I forget to go back for it. <laughs> or sometimes no, I just, I just reason, won't care and I'll just take a different trinket. The reason why <laughs> I disagree... Maybe I shouldn't be doing that. The, the reason why I disagree with that logic is because IV bag is so common in Samson runs. You almost always get it. Yeah. And like, guess what? You'll never not need health then. Because you could always just sack your health for more money than heal it. Yeah, and I guess you could use the hearts to then buy the extra consumables in the shop that you... Yeah, like, this is what out. I'm saying. Like, this character <laughs> is so min-maxable. It's ridiculous. Because you don't even need to worry about getting items. You know, you're worried about the keys. Guess what? Just don't get your item room. Right? Just don't. You'll get planetarium chance. Screw it. <laughs> you know? Like... I guess. You don't need items. You have one of the best devil deal items already at rip. See, I, I personally was going to put this top of good. I but I hard disagree on that be, one. You might be convincing me that maybe it is huge. You, like, it, it, might, like, I will, it doesn't seem. I that's admit, what I'm I saying. It doesn't. It doesn't <laughs> seem like it's that good. I mean, even if you drop it late game, which I can see that argument, because like late game, if you have a lot of health, you might not need the child's heart, right? You might replace well, no, no, no. it. For I something. mean, I mean, I will drop it like 
sometimes as early as like floor three. Well, that's just a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> that's just bad play. I know. It, that's well, probably just me being bad. So, like, I mean, granted, it depends like on the situation. <laughs> it depends on the situation. Like, obviously, yeah. if I get, like, curved horn or something, then I'll probably take that. Oh, yeah, but, like, nose goblins. But that, that's not fair. <laughs> that's not fair, yeah. right? Um, yeah. I just mean in general, right? Like, this is, like, out of all the trinkets for Samson, this is, like, one of the best that you could possibly It get. is a very fitting trinket. It's so good. Yeah. So I want to put him above Kane because it's, it's, it's so much more relevant than people give it credit for. I I, I do think Kane is still a bit better, but I can see above Maggie's speed up. Ah, see, because it's hard. Like, I get why you'd think the always good pills are better. But, like, I don't know, man. You break runs with Child's Heart. Do you ever really break runs with the pills? Yes, you get extra okay, stats, which is you... nice, but... You, you no, break I... runs with Samson anyway. No, that's not true. Without <laughs> Child's Heart, it's so much harder to break runs. It, this makes it consistent. It's consistent game break. It's every 10 rooms. How many rooms are on a floor? A 10% chance for like 10 rooms is a lot. You're spawning at least one extra heart. At least. And I guess it's in addition to the hearts they would have dropped other what like already. And one extra heart, especially um, before womb, is a lot of damage up. You know? I don't know, I feel as Samson, like, it's only six hits to max out your bloodlust, and you can already do that with IV Bag without the Child's Heart. But you're not getting as much health without Child's Heart. Yeah, but you don't need it. <laughs> like, I mean, I'm not saying you need you it, but it is, damage. but it's a really good buff. But I think the all positive pills is better, because it's just, you're getting so much stats. But, like... Like, you're just getting so much. I just don't think that the pills break Kane like the Child's Heart breaks Samson. I don't really think it breaks him as much as you think. I think it he's just does, already a good bro. character. I mean, he is. I think he's already a good character. And we're, we're, we're saying how much it changed the character. Like, getting all positive pills is quite a good effect. Like, Lucky Foot before that was not that good of an item. Now it's a good item. But... I guess. Samson already could very easily max his damage every floor with IV bag. And you're already going to go for IV bag. Now, that strategy is better. But you already have the strategy. It's just now better. I guess when you put it that way, that I guess you're low-key convincing me. I'm okay with leaving it there, I guess. I, I, I could know. argue that speed up Maggie is better, but I, I'm not sure. But you would disagree with speed up Maggie being better, so like we can keep it. There. I mean, I don't know. Well, actually, I, no. Let, let's like, I, if I if I were really gonna talk about it, you get a speed up with Mag, um, and that is great, but that's only really gonna matter for the very beginning of the run, because um, I mean you're likely gonna get a speed up for base Maggie anyway. Blood bag is yeah. so free for Maggie. You have Yum Heart and but everything. But speed. Speed up removes your downside immediately. Well, and it does. It Charles does. Heart on Kane, uh, Charles Heart on Samson only improves your already good upside. Yeah, but I, so, I need you to understand how much more health you actually get. Because there's a lot of rooms, especially late game. Like, so many rooms. And you know what else? No, I, I, I'm, I'm doubling back down, actually. Because Womb is rough on Samson. It is rough. You're taking double the true. damage. And... You're getting debatably double the hearts. Every chest, 30% chance of a heart. Every single room, 10% chance of heart. And there's a lot of rooms on Womb. Let's say you... Okay, because... no, well, we'll leave it right there. I think Kane is better, but I think it is better than Speed Up, thank you. I, yeah, I'm, I'm okay with that. I, I kind of agree, now that I think about it. Like, thinking about it as if... Luckfoot really did get a massive buff. Like, when I'm thinking of it as the buff itself... Yeah. I feel like I was low-key comparing the characters for a bit there. Like, I think yeah. Samson's better yeah. than Kane. But... Yeah. Because he is. <laughs> yeah. But... <laughs> no, you're right, though. You're right, though. Um, the buff is better for Kane. You're right, you're right, right. Okay. okay. Uh, anemic. <laughs> um, anemic on Lazarus. Okay, so Lazarus Risen already has anemic. But with this upgrade, you start with anemic, and then when you die, you have two anemics. So it's permanent anemic. You get permanent creep. So what you're saying no, is that it's a game changer. Anemic. Carries it's a the game run. Changer. Yes, sir. Yeah. I think this is um, insanely irrelevant. Okay. 
I don't think it's that irrelevant because as Lazarus risen, okay, no, here's a funny thing. I actually think pre pre buff um the the, the rework we're about to get to for Lazarus Lazarus repentance before that change this was more relevant. It is now less relevant because of the rework to Lazarus. Because before, the strategy was you killed yourself early in the game, and your Lazarus risen forever, and now you have permanent creep. And creep is actually a bit underrated, I think. Uh, creep is kind of nice. No, I think, it, I think it's rated... Right. I, I think it's rated correctly. I, <laughs> I think it's I rated think correctly. It's Bro, there's so few enemies late game that it's relevant to at all. When do you ever kill an enemy late game? Like... <laughs> no, let alone bosses. I... I, I have quite a few scenarios where I'll just be doing a room and I'll I'll notice the creep helped. Like, I think yes, the I think the I only time I've ever noticed that creep helped was Mom's foot. That's the only relevant fight I can think of where creep is actually I, good. I I have had quite a few like quite often I'll have a creep item and I will appreciate. I'm talking it. about I'm talking about relevant bosses by the way. I'm talking like like the achievement okay. bosses. Bosses, no. It, it's good for rooms. I'll put it that way. It's good for but rooms. But not even, enemies. really. Once you get late game, most of the enemies fly. Yeah, but it's still... like You can't just consider late game. Sometimes you need to help early in the game, and the creep kind of shreds enemies early. But you need to die! You're already killing yourself on floor 1 or 2 as Lazarus. I guess, with the, new, with the new... Uh... Even even now we're friends. No, but I think this. I oh, know what I was gonna say is in after a plus. I think this might be all right, like bottom over right. But I think in repentance. Okay, wait, wait. wait. What is this because again? Because it's what is this again? Um, the razor blade giving half a like only taking okay, half. Okay, no, half I, I, I remember. I remember. Okay, it is better. It is than better that. than that. But I it still think it's irrelevant. I still definitely think it's irrelevant. Oh, there is this as well. Um, Lazarus starts with bad range, and anemic raises your range all the time. By how much? 1.5, you start at 4.5, and base range is 6, I believe. Base I range is 6.5, so it almost gets you to base range. Otherwise, you start with cane range. Cane range is 4.5 as well. Um, Okay, but again, you Honestly, have to die. It only... Because we have to count this in repentance. No, no, no. No, you start with the anemic. When you die, you get a second anemic, and that's when you get the permanent creep and another range up. Actually, it might not be another range up, but you start with the range up. So you're always, at the very least, you're starting with basically base range instead of cane range at 4.5. Uh... And range isn't that big of a deal, but it can sometimes be a big deal. I don't think it's irrelevant. I think it's bottom of a right. Barely. I think it's like very bottom of a right. All right, fine. But if we have barely anybody in irrelevant by the end of the list, I'm moving this down, all right? I think there'll be others in irrelevant. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. Um, I, I, I don't know. That doesn't even feel right to me, but I guess I'll... It can go I'll down like later, but like, yeah. Um, it's know. not, it's not as irrelevant get... as this though, I will say. Um, it's definitely not as relevant. I, I would have at least made it go above that, but yeah. You know what? Okay, repentance. This is a, this. this is a, oh man, this is an interesting one. So, I, this is 100, okay, I, I'll spoil it for you all right now. Okay, well let me give you the story, alright? Let me set the mood. Lazarus, ever since Rebirth came out, one of the most irrelevant characters ever. Like, Imagine he going from bad. Flash. He was just kind he of. He was there. irrelevant. He was irrelevant. He was there. He, he was, was another. There. He was another basic beach ass character. <laughs> like I would say, cared. he was almost identical. He was almost identical to After Earth Plus Kane. They are so similar. <laughs> they are. Uh, uh, no, I, I would even say After Earth Plus Kane is way better. I actually would. Lazarus He's not way better. I think they're basically the same. I don't know, man. Lazarus was so boring. Like, I mean, I know I'm. I'm talking okay. about like. He he was and boring. Don't get how like how good he was versus like how funny he was to play. He as in terms of viability, he was almost identical to Kane. Like they are like right next to each other. All right, whatever. It, either way, he was they not a, the same stuff. He was not a good character. Yeah. I, I would not say yeah. he was a good character. He went from very mid to one of the best characters in the game, and that's a game changer. So what they did is, um, I mean, he's going in game changer whether he's above or below. Uh, is to come, but uh, now he gets an extra life every single floor. Um, basically, when you kill yourself, you get a permanent damage up, and you get all of your risen stats for that floor. Turt's gonna bring up in a second here how it's low key a nerf, kind of not really though, uh, that you don't stay as risen forever. Um, but that's so irrelevant because you're getting permanent damage ups every single floor. 
I actually calculate. I have a, I have a um, Isaac damage calculator, and I can like, okay, how much damage ups do you think you get on a normal run? Just give me a number. Well, I've done it because when I did my streams for trying to beat the game with no items, uh, once I got to womb, I was at twelve. Oh, no, I mean damage. actual damage up items. I mean items. Oh, uh, okay. Like um, on a normal run, how many damage up items do you think you get? Uh, like without min maxing, probably like. I probably get to about like eight or ten damage. Okay, um, I was looking for the. And I, and I was just and I was just about to say when you go to womb with only the damage ups from this effect, you get a permanent damage up every single time you kill yourself. Sorry, I didn't explain it very well. You get a permanent damage up every single time you kill yourself, and then you get the life back for the next floor. All right, but you turn back into base Laz, so you lose your all stats up from Lazarus Risen, but. At the end of the day, it means you get to spam life up. It gives you min-max potential on blood dono machines, if you really want. You could kill yourself devil on a deals. devil deal. Exactly. You kill yourself on a devil deal. You could kill yourself on a devil beggar. That's min-max potential. Even besides that, you want to kill yourself every single floor. You get a damage up. I mean, again, getting to womb 2 with no items is a big deal. And this is one of the characters that it's very possible yeah. with. Um, it is nice having consistent damage because some runs you might just not get damage ups, but you really might not get damage ups. Um, and guaranteed like, damage ups. Um, so uh, I I'll say the exact numbers. So every time you die, you come back with one heart, one red heart filled, and you lose one container only. Yes. So Lazarus starts with three hearts, right? So the first time you die, you go down to two containers, and one of them is filled. Next time you die, you'll be at one container with one filled. Uh, and also, if you you can't go down below one container, yeah, you always so you have at least one, one which is great. You come back with one, which is great that it's yeah. at least one red heart container every time because you could still min max on blood donos, uh, you could still min max on Sacrum. devil deals, on all that. Uh, yeah, yeah. So I don't know. Um, I could unironically every, every time you every time you die, it's plus zero point five damage. So that's half a normal damage up item. So that's half a pentagram. Uh, it's the same as meat. Um, it's not much, but you can do it every floor. I would say there's a point where you should stop because there's a point where you want to actually have soul hearts. The downside is every time you kill yourself, you lose all your soul hearts. Well, you exactly. have to, to die. Exactly. Um, and and so that is a point where you should stop. There definitely is a point where you should stop. But like the early floors are so easy that you don't need the health. So like yeah. I would say around like depths two is when you should stop because, you know, going into womb with one I heart agree. is too dangerous. I agree. Uh, but so that's a lot of damage. You're getting to like nine damage if we, for, with no items. If we assume, if we assume you get five damage ups, which I actually think is a high end. So this is kind of high end assumption. If we assume we get five damage ups in after a plus, you have a 1.2 multiplier, that'd be at 11 damage. Um, in Repentance, you no longer have the 1.2 multiplier because you're not going to be Lazarus in all the time. However, instead of getting five damage ups, let's say you get eight because you're killing yourself six times to get 0.5 damage. So that's plus three overall. That brings you to actually slightly higher damage than in After Earth Plus. And if you die in a floor, you become Laz Risen. They buffed the Laz Risen damage multiplier. It's now 1.4 times. That's higher than Judas. Damn. So on the floor you die, you have crazy damage. And um, you know what? Let's let's just ignore the damage for a second. Extra life every floor. How is that not goaded? Yeah. Let's, let, I mean, and guess what? It's yeah. a Laz life. So it's always an extra hit in a boss. If you don't In the I, room, yes always extra life in the in the room you never get teleported out i don't know man i really think it might be better than d6 that's a crazy take but the I'm more i talk about it say and you might call me crazy i was personally going to say this is just top of huge no you're insane this changed well, the think character d6 is definitely better i think d6 is definitely better i would argue that These... this this i okay let, let's let me put it this way if Lazarus's death damage up was an item, I would take that over D6. I would. You get an extra life every single floor. You get a damage up for every single life. You get basically free devil deals every single floor. You can blood dono for free. Every single floor. I mean, D6 I is amazing. Know, it's... But... Look, I it, I, it does personally bother me that you do lose out on the 1.2 multiplier you'd have permanently in After Earth Plus. This is a lot more fun of a character, and I do think he is better as well. I'm not saying he's not better. However, you did lose out on a 1.2 times damage multiplier. 
And yes, you do get 1.4 times, but that's only after you die. So that, you're getting that 1.4 times multiplier a lot less time than you would have the 1.2. To plus. me, that's completely irrelevant because you gain way more damage I, no, with I, the new one. I, again, we need to look at the difference between what the character was before and what he is now. Yes, and I, I think, think I, the difference is that he turned from a mid character to one of the best characters in the game. Which, okay, just like I, Isaac, Isaac also turned from a mid character to one of the best in the game. But after plus Lazarus was better than base Isaac, because everyone's better than base Isaac. By quite a much. Is that even true Everyone's though? Because he has Isaac. worse range. No, because you have anemic. Anemic starts you with six, and when you die as Lazarus, you actually have good range. So Lazarus had higher than average range, he had higher than average speed, he had a damage multiplier. Like he was never a bad character. Okay, he was just I kind of Okay, boring. you're kind of convincing me that he's below Isaac, but he's never going in huge. That's an insane take. He's definitely can, still game changer. I will changer. allow I will allow that. I will allow that. <laughs> um, but like no, like I, realistically speaking, this buff is way bigger than the blue baby buff. Just no, way I, I bigger. I did just kind of look at blue baby. I did just kind of look at blue baby and go, yeah, there is kind of a difference there. So, you know what? No, there's a huge difference. That's fine. That's fine. I I will take that. So, Lazarus is the new bottom of game changer. Anything worse than Lazarus does not yeah. Isaac and Lazarus are pretty close together, so anything worse than those two does not go in Game Changer. I do think they're definitely Unless comparable. Have... <laughs> they're definitely comparable, yeah, um... but I, I guess... <sighs> Isaac is technically a worse character than old Laz. So, I mean, not by much, by a lot. but... I don't even think it's no, by I much. No, I say by a lot. I really I don't say even think it's lot. by much. Because you have to kill yourself... Starting with a... You have to... Old Laz, you have to kill, kill yourself, yourself and, get, and bring to one health. Like... That's not a big deal. It really isn't. Because you can kill yourself at a time that you have soul hearts on the floor. I mean, like you're basically cool. giving... You basically have more stats uh, for a one health character. And health is very min-maxable. You can break the game way easier with health than you can with those stats. I don't know. It's like kind of comparable to Judas at that point, And you can just kill yourself after you guarantee find a soul heart. Well, Judas so is very like different Judas because you have Book of Belial. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, think, I think base lads are like... After Earth Plus Laz was way better than base Isaac. I think any character that isn't outright detrimental is way better than base Isaac. It's kind of hard not to be. Um, I mean, at the end of the day, I I can't argue this because I still yeah. think I still think Isaac is a better character than Laz. I know I said I wasn't comparing yeah. the characters, but because their OG characters are so similar to each other, and like, I I don't know. I, I think I think it's pretty fair for me to say like well i, I mean, agree i think i think i think current isaac is better than current lazarus and i thought old lazarus was better than old isaac before d6 yeah so I guess he has I, to go below isaac i guess that's fair <laughs> all right whatever i still definitely think he's game changer because it is a game changer by definition I, I, it, I changed okay. it changed I, the character okay it changed the character that is true that is true that is true okay, okay. Eden. I, I have no Do idea what this is no <laughs> okay so eden gets random starting stats that are kind of like Plus or minus what the base Isaac stats would be. They changed the range that your tier stat can be. So before it used to be plus 0.75 to minus 0.75. But now it can be up, up plus 0.75 to minus 0.5. So it can't be as bad as it used to be. Uh, the worst type of Eden start is not as bad as the after plus worst Eden start. Um, so I'll give you the exact numbers. Um, what that actually means. So before, negative 0.75 was the lowest tier rate you could start with. Now, it is zero, negative 0 0.5 is the worst tier rate you can start with. So, um, wait, give me a sec. I did something wrong. Uh, negative 0 0.75. Um, okay, so before in After Earth Plus, the worst tier stat you could start with is 1.46. In Repentance, the worst tier stat you can start with is 1.82, which is 0 0.36 tiers higher. You just said a bunch of numbers at me, and I'm just going <laughs> to agree with whatever you say. Where do you think this is? <laughs> no, um, okay. Basically, basically, the worst start you had before was 1.46 tiers. The worst start you can have now is 1.82 tiers, which is 0 0.36 tiers better than before. That is what Repentance did. The worst type of Eden start this you get, is like, a... if you low roll the stats, it's not as bad. But it's only tiers? It's only the tier stat, nothing else. <laughs> I don't um, know, man. Is it is it wrong for me to put this in irrelevant? <laughs> it might be irrelevant. It this matters. Okay, you're never gonna know which one. It does matter for Eden streaking. But, uh, many people Eden streak. 
Like, yeah, if you're Eden streaking, then over the course of a long streak, this will actually matter quite a lot, I think, because you're going to have less starts that are, like, terrible out the gate. They'll still be bad out the gate. I like actually... 0 .5, uh, but they won't be as bad. I might say it's it even better be, than the Anemic. It, it might be right there, actually. <laughs> it might be right there. I agree with it, it being is a minor better than thing, Anemic. But it does, over the course of a lot of runs, it will matter. You won't notice it, but it will matter. Because, I mean, I'll, 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 I'll be honest. I'll quite... be honest. I remember the the terrible tier cap that you'd start sometimes yeah. on Eden runs. Like, that crap was abysmal. I mean, it's still bad. You can still start with 1.82 tiers. That's still bad. But at least it's not 1.46 tiers. 1.46 is terrible. <laughs> yeah, um, I, th I think specifically yeah. for Eden streaking for that point, because that's a very relevant thing that people do. Like, that's one of the most, yeah. you know, that's very common. Yeah. I think for yeah. that specific point, I mean, it's I. I mean, it's I. It's all right. Okay. okay. So, Spectral. Uh, so, we're getting to the loss buffs here. Um, loss buffs. Four of them. <laughs> yeah. Well, same with Keeper. Oh, my God. Keeper has so many. Um, Six. <laughs> uh, these buffs are very important because I, what I love about Lost is that I think Lost, ever since Rebirth, um, he's just kept getting molded into a better and better character. I think Lost is a perfect example of how to change a character for the better over time. Because he's went through a lot yeah. of phases, right? So in, what is it? In Rebirth, he started with nothing, right? He was just dying one hit. He Flight, um, nothing else. Just flight. Only flight. And no health. Only flight. And he could take free devil deals. That was it. Um, yep. But then, I think this is just flat out Afterbirth, where he gets Spectral Tears, right? It's Afterbirth, yes. Afterbirth gave him Spectral Tears all the time. He always has Spectral Tears. Spectral Tears um, is absolutely insane for this character. And I, this is, like, kind of similar to the... Uh, to what I was saying about the heart, but I think this is to a much higher degree, to a point where I'd even see... Ah! The problem is that I almost feel like I want to make a new tier for an upcoming spot, but I do think this is a game changer. I don't know. I don't think it's a game changer, but I think it's top of huge. Um, I don't know, man. Special... Being able to hide in rocks and shooting yeah. enemies is insane. Spectral specifically on a character that starts with flight is an insane and no health. You're able to play so safe. I mean, maybe I could yeah. see top um, of huge. I don't know. The more I think about it, I could see top of huge. I don't but, think it's game changer. It's not as good as Lazarus's buff, but it is still very nice. I think it's top of huge. But I'm really trying to think of it right now. Like if if Lost did not have Spectral, he'd be a lot harder. He would be, but I don't. Like, we're so used to him having Spectral, is the that thing. That is true. I like, can't, can't you, imagine him without it. I've, I used to play Rebirth Lost, and admittedly, I never completed Rebirth Lost, but um, I did a few achievements with him, and I can tell you right now, no Spectral on Lost sucks ass. Because you basically have to hide in the rock. For, this is for rooms, by the way. This is not counting Mantle, because it's a separate unlock. You have to assume you don't have Mantle as well. That's the thing. Because Mantle is also a separate yeah. unlock. So, no Mantle lost. Without Spectral, as well, is rough. You get so much safety by hiding in rocks. Even so many of the bosses, you have so many, so much safety hiding in, into rocks. Especially early game. I mean, yeah, there are quite a few rooms where you can just hide in a rock and the enemies can't do it. It does, it does fall off a lot late game, though. It does quite a lot, because there's a lot more flying enemies, or just... Like, yes, but I think I think by that point you're gonna have way more items to to counteract it. Like, yeah, but uh, arguably, and you know, even from like, a it, let's say from an overpowered standpoint, spectral's still insane because you could stand from uh, let's say you're in a big room or hell, even in the boss rush, right? In the boss rush, you know how there's always like the rocks between like the spawners for the bosses. You could shoot through those and shoot across the room and not have to worry about your shots getting blocked. Okay, but that's not really an issue because if you're really concerned about shooting through the rocks, you can just bomb them before you start boss rush. Like but you don't want to because there's so many bosses that zoom like Gertie Jr. and they get blocked by the rocks. You could shoot through them instead. You want the rocks to be there. I guess, yeah. I don't know. I just don't think... 
I, I just don't see it being game changer. Okay, the only I reason I why I say game changer, by the way, is because I think it's so much of a bigger buff than Blue Baby. It's a massive buff over Blue Baby. I would actually say massive. I really don't agree. I think Blue Baby's buff is quite big. It's not nearly as good. Not nearly. Blue Baby can go so aggressive on Devil Deals now. Like, so aggressive on Devil You could be aggressive with loss. I mean, it, it sounds crazy for me to say aggressive when I'm talking about hiding in rocks. But you could, like, you don't need to hide as much when you have Spectra. You'll always be attacking. You can always be attacking. In Rebirth, you had to wait for the enemy to, like, go through its attack phase, hiding in a rock. And then go out of the rock, shoot him, and always risk dying instantly from one hit. Again, you have to remember, this is no mantle lost. No mantle lost is ridiculous. I wonder, it, because it is in the same update that he got the mantle. I know it's a separate unlock, but it was but still the it's same it's a separate update. unlock. Uh, listen, if it, if it was on start, I would agree we should count it as the same. But if you don't have mantle unlocked, you didn't put all the greed coins in, guess what? You still get Spectral on Lost. Now, Spectral is a, a gained attribute on Lost. And guess what? That still helps a lot. On Mirror Dimension, if you don't have Mantle, you can still do these Lost strats. I just... I I, I, I think Spectral's good. I just don't think it's... I think it's way better than Blue Baby. I, I can still see it being huge. Like, top... Very top of huge. But I think the gap between Blue Baby and Spectral Lost is insane. This is again, this is another I case. Don't... This is another case of the child's heart. You don't understand how much of a buff it really is because you're so used to it. I guess, but I this is know. a it... massive buff. I, have you ever actually even played Lost without Spectral? No, I I haven't played. You have no I've idea then. Plus. Oh, you have no idea the pain, bro. I promise you it's massive. I mean, there's a reason why I want to put it in Game Changer. But, admittably, <laughs> there's one coming up that's way more relevant, and that's why it, like, doesn't feel as good. But, it's still insane. I don't know, I do think it's Game Changer. Do you think we maybe need an extra tier? I do. I, I actually... Changer? No, I think we need a new tier above Game Changer. I don't think we need one above Game Changer. I think we need one between it, and then we can move Lazarus down to that TL. No, because I, I'm going to say this. Behind. I'll say right now, Mantle is way above these two. Way above. Mm. It's way above. But I think Spectral's that comparable. And, and this is going to sound insane. I'm actually going to double down on this. This is comparable to these two. It doesn't seem like it, but it is comparable to, to these two. It changes okay. the care. If it does not seem like it does, <laughs> but it I changes the game. Now we've said, I guess it's twice now we've said, yeah, this is the absolute bottom of game changer. That we've had. <laughs> no, no, you're right, you're right. But when I really oh. start to think about it, it is a game changer. He's a different character with special. You could play so differently, and you really do. Uh, you, now the strategy is you're using rocks to your benefit. You could not. Well, I do will that. say, if it is. Small buffs make a lot bigger of a difference on bad characters. This could have been a small buff, but because it's on a bad character, yeah. it's a much bigger buff in comparison. Of course. Oh, of course. Um, if this was on Isaac, I wouldn't give yeah. a damn. But it's the fact yeah, that you're yeah, also... Of course, of course. Okay, but I also want to include the fact that it's also on a flight character, which is very relevant. Spectral plus yeah. flight is insane on any character. Yeah, so like, I guess this is a point where... Spectral plus flight basically gives you invincibility. For a lot of enemies. It is one of those things where I do abuse it a lot. I will be over the rocks, but I don't really, like, consider, like, oh, what if I didn't have a Spectra right now? Because I've never played you it. You've never I, played I it, bro. See. I promise you it's yeah. insane. Lost, no okay, Spectral I, is different. Fine. Fine. <laughs> we'll put it in Game Changer as well. But um, I actually, I actually do agree like... there, that there should be a new tier. Because, okay, let's well, make... Okay, let's, uh, let's do this first, though. Okay. <laughs> Irrelevant. <laughs> it's 100% irrelevant. Yeah, it, okay. it's worse than it's actually worse than Eve. So for some context, he got D4 uh, in Afterbirth base. Afterbirth base. Um, yes. This is in the same update that he got Holy Mantle. That, that's a very relevant fact. If he got this in Rebirth as an unlockable, I'd actually put it in maybe even good. 
I actually would. I would say good, yeah. But it's the fact that this is in the same update as Mantle. You're almost... Ah. But, like, then again, I did just say that... How do you unlock... Well, is, is D4 okay. always on its base kit? Um, Only if you have the D4 unlocked in your save file. But, yes, it's always on the base kit, if you do. I don't care. I'm kind of going against my own rules that I said about Spectral, but... I still want to put him in Irrelevant. Because, bro... You re-roll your mantle when you start with it. Okay, where would you put Spectral with Mantle? Would you put it in a similar slot? I would, would actually. I actually would. Because it doesn't matter. It's the same thing. Even with then Mantle. It's fine. Then it's fine. If you put... <laughs> so, even with Mantle, you still do the same strats. Yeah. You yeah. just have a little bit of extra it's just it's, it's slightly less necessary, but it still is good. Yeah. So. And I'll tell you what, whenever I lose my mantle, you already can know I'm going back to my re to my rebirth days. But yeah, instead, true, I also true. have spectral. <laughs> you know, that's all I'm saying. True. Yeah. So the thing with D4 on the Lost is it's incredibly ironic because they give it to him in the same update. You get Holy Mantle and using D4 rerolls Holy Mantle, which is obviously a terrible idea. Never do that. Because mantle is, is is full mantle is full stop the best item on Lost. It just is. Yes. There's no better item. Then than in mantle. repentance. Then in repentance. They make the Holy Mantle inherent, so it can't be re-rolled by D4 effects. And in the same update, that's so, they get that's rid of so D4. crazy. That's so crazy <laughs> that they did that. That's insane that they did that. Um, that's so funny. Um, so yeah, it's just always been useless. If it was in Rebirth, it would have been better. If they you kept mean it in, um, oh wait, oh yeah, in it would have been better. Yeah, no, you're right. You're right. You're but right. they just perfectly made it so he, he only had it at the perfect times where it was useless. <laughs> so. Yeah, no, it's definitely irrelevant. To ever click it. De I mean, it's the uh, definition the only, of irrelevant. It always stays there the and you only, never use it. The only use this has, and I, I mean the only use it has, is if you get an item room that has a restock machine and it, there's an active item on the pedestal, you can take the active item and then reroll the D4. That yeah. Is, that's all it does. That's basically <laughs> it. You're not wrong. It's the same relevance as the poop on Blue Baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, poop is better on blue, baby. You get petrified poop, and suddenly the runs. Better. And blue flies. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, are we making a new tier? This is clearly. I like, I have to. I, I actually have to. Um. Okay. Add row above. What's better than game changer, though? What do we call it? Insane. Okay. Now, how about insane change? Oh my god, that's crazy. <laughs> you saw. Why not? <laughs> Mantle. <laughs> like, yeah, I, that's, uh... Yeah, yeah. Do I even need to say more, really? Like, okay, yeah, so... It, I, uh, and again, as a, as a Rebirth uh, player, as a it Rebirth player... <laughs> As a Rebirth player, I also want to say, like, the achievements that I got on Lost, it was only the Blue Baby and uh, Lamb runs. But listen, man, with Lost No Mantle, that is an achievement, bro. I, I heard that people in Rebirth were just going to hold R for Holy Mantle at the starting room, and now they don't have to do that because they just get I would, it. Like, I would do that. It should have been. I would, I would it reset. It always should have been. I would reset Scum for either Dead Cat and Cursed Room or... Um, because you gotta understand, Cursed Room's not free either. So I'd go into the Cursed Room, yeah. I'd go into the Cursed Room, pray for Dead Cat, and then you'd have to, like, edge towards the spike, so that way you die and get respawned out of the Cursed Room. Um, that was the only thing you could do, really. Either Mantle or uh, Dead Cat. I mean, I will say this, um, Tainted Lost right now is the hardest character in the game. Tainted and he's Lost still easier, he's Why way better than Rebirth Lost. You like, still get all the cards, at least. You get better items, and you have a Spectral. He's the, only, the, o the only thing that Rebirth Lost has over Tainted Lost is that he has infinite Devil Deal free. Because you can pick, his pick up as many yeah. as you want. That's the only thing but he has. But who cares? You have a, dam you have a damage yeah, multiplier. Yeah, damage multiplier and, and better free. items. Like, yeah. No. It's the same as Judas's one. It's a good damage multiplier. It, um, this is, this is, a, this is a completely another level. I mean, these are still game changers. They really are for all three of these characters. Like, they completely change the character. And yes, I even mean Spectral. It completely changes the character. Um, the... I mean, this is... This is on another level. It doesn't just change the yeah. character. It makes a new character. <laughs> it may as well. Like, I don't I know. I can't imagine Lost without Holy Mantle. It is so integral to win. 
<laughs> he is. And I and you know what? Since we're about to get to the end of the lost here, um, what is this, by the way? Okay, um, they got rid of D4 and gave him eternal D6, oh, and they made the holy mantle inherent to him. So the holy mantle can't be rerolled. Uh, again, we're only including buffs, so the lost actually did lose the ability to get the entire devil duel for free in repentance. Now it's a choice of one. We're not factoring that in. Yeah, we're not factoring that in. Um, okay, just counting. I mean, uh, this is basically just the D4 for me. D4 is great. He is. Is it comparable to D6 on six Isaac? Um, it's not D6 on Isaac level. It... Okay, do we consider the fact... No, I don't think we consider the fact he lost the D4, because again, with the Inherent Mantle, the D4 actually would have existed. I don't think we consider D4 at all. We just consider... No, you have I, I don't D6. think we do. Yeah, you just have Eternal D6. Um, so... It's hard, because um, I've always said Eternal D6 is still at least comparable to D6. And when you really think about it... It is a lot worse, though, but it is still really good. Yeah. This might be top of huge. I would say this might be top of huge. Hmm. I mean, I agree. I guess I just agree. I do think Spectral is more important. Yeah. As much as I hate to admit it, I... Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, I mean, whatever. <laughs> but it I, is, though. Like, when, yeah, I fine, really, when I really think about it, D4 is not necessary. I would argue Spectral is necessary for early game Eternal, Eternal D6, you mean. But yes, I do. I what, do what do I keep uh, saying? Agree. You keep saying D4 instead of Eternal D6. Oh, my bad. My bad. No, I meant Eternal D6. Sorry. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's like Spectral is one of those items that you would always want with Lost in Re like in Rebirth. Uh, what's the item? Spirit of the Night is one of those items you would pray for every single Devil Deal. You would yeah. pray for it, and now he just has it. So, I don't know. Um, okay. I, I think, think that's fine. fine. I think fine. that's fine. fine. I like all the Lost. Um, placements. Lilith. Okay. Uh, Lilith, I thought, was two buffs, but actually okay. there's a third uh, wait, one. Wait, 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 I'm sorry. Uh, Last thing, I'm sorry, I forgot to say. Last thing about Lost, uh, I said at the beginning, this is, like, an example of a character that, um, like, he really changed over time, and I really like how he ended up. This is one of my, f I'm not saying he's a great, he's a good character by any means, but he's one of my favorite characters, because he's just fun yeah. now. He's actually will fun. Say, they made a, it, they made much, a character that died in one hit fun. As much as I love the D4 because of the D4 bug, I love the D4 now. I'm actually still happy as the Eternal D6 instead. It's so much more fitting to the character, I think. It just makes sense. I think. It is. And getting rid of items for the lost, you lost the item. Know what I'm saying? Oh, you get what I'm saying? <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Um, Lilith. Lilith. Okay. So three buffs. Box of Friends went down from four room charge to three room charge. That's already good. That's Camby insane. Camby Conception. Camby Conception. Oh, that's you combined. You have to pair unlocked. However... If you, oh, uh, I'm sorry, I, I just did <laughs> repentance. It's fine. We'll we just combine it. Um, if you have twisted pair unlocked, twisted pair is part of um, of camping conception. So before, obviously, you want incubus from camping conception, and after a plus, you have a one in six chance to get incubus, and obviously, you can spawn four familiars with it. But now there's eight familiars in camping conception because they added little Abaddon and twisted pair. So if you're trying to hit Twisted Pair or Incubus, you have a 1 in 4 chance to get any of them. And then even when you get one, you can still get the other one. So that's pretty good. Camping Exception's better. Box of Friends is less charges. And this is a small one, but I do think it's relevant. Uh, in Repentance, they changed how familiars work, where they now, um, the better familiars stay at the front of the line. Before, if you had other familiars like Brother Bobby, they would get in the way of oh. your Incubus, and your Incubus would be further down the line. So but wait, when you all Box of Friends, will... all your Incubuses go right one after another, right? They are always in front of the line. There will always be one, Bro, two, three. Like, if you have three of them, it will be one, two, I three, this is... then one, brother Bobby, and then you can just look back. This is an insane buff. Yeah. I, I and, forgot and about Cambian... the familiar line. This is at least better. Than, this line. is at least better than Blue Baby, guaranteed. Uh, I think I can see it. This is weird because I didn't even really think Lilith got buffed that much in Repentance, but listing him out like that... It's kind of good. Can't be in Conception. Good well, uh, can't be in Conception alone is better than Blue Baby. Without yeah. any of the and other stuff you said. All three of the things I said are good. Books of Friends, less charges, good. Yeah, great. Familiar is following the line, good. And then <laughs> Can't be Conception, also good. They're all good. Um, I think yeah. it's better than D4. Uh, I mean, if you're combining all that, it's definitely better than... I don't know why I keep saying D4. Eternal D6. Um, I think I can get behind that. That I like, not only now that I've listed it out, like that is kind of a 
insane. Uh, like man, Cambie and Con I'm just thinking of Cambie and Conception right now. Cambie and Conception changes this character. It's mid maxable. It's not game changer. It was already a min-maxable character. Okay, you could already get in. It just increases the chance you'll get a good. No, familiar. because you could not grind familiars before. Yes, you could. How? No, no, no okay. Okay, no, no, no. You how do you? How do you guarantee? No, no. Oh wait, is camping conception not? You had. No, you had camping conception before in Alpha Plus, but it, um, to get Incubus, which is the best hit, is a one in six. But since they added Twisted Pair to Incubus, um, to Cami Conception, it's now a one in four to get either Twisted Pair or Incubus. Wait, so you're you saying? Them, you so you're saying? Wait, wait, no, no, no. I thought Cami Conception was an unlock. No, 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 it's not. It's always on her base kit. You're sure about that? I. The moment I, you unlock Lilith, it, yes. The moment you unlock yes. Lilith, she guaranteed always has it since the moment she yes. was a character in Afterbirth. Yes. yes. I'm talking about Afterbirth. Yes. If it wasn't. If it wasn't, I would have put it as a separate thing. But no, it is. You always have Campion. It surprised me too. I I, I also felt really? like at one point in time that it was an unlock item, but it's not. It really is. It's not. It it's really. Me too. It's really not an unlock. It's not. That blows my mind. No. Okay. Uh. The yeah. So the buffs in this slot. Just to be clear, Box of Friends went down from four room charge to three. Camping Inception has better payouts now because you can get Twisted Pair, and then um. The familiars, the good ones, like Incubus, will stay at the front of the line no matter I, how many I actually think that have. point right there, that point right there is the best one, I will say. The the familiars in the line, yeah. Like, having, like, potentially three familiars, like, and all being Incubi, like, right next to each other, it's going to make aiming a lot better. Yeah. It's a triple shot. Because before, before, people used to not like taking familiars as Lilith, like Brother Bobby, it's true. because they I would interrupt that. your line, and familiar and Incubus would be at the back, which completely defeats the purpose of the character. But now right. with this, you can take Brother Bobby, no problem. They'll just be at the back of the line, your Incubus, the okay. about is at the front. If, I will oh. say, if, if Turt is wrong, <laughs> chat, or I shouldn't say chat, um, if Turt is wrong and Cammy Inception is an unlock, I, I would put this in Game Changer for sure. But... Oh, yeah, if... Camming Conception was an unlock item, but it's not. Tr trust me. If it's us. not an unlock, I'm actually... I think this is good. Uh, it's either below Lost Eternal D6 or it's here. Yeah, I think it's somewhere in this range. Um, What do you think? I'm okay with either spot, honestly. The I Familiars the thing is really I, nice. I do really like the Blue Baby thing, though. I feel like Blue Baby... Okay, I, don't, I, like I, I, still don't think, I still don't think Blue Baby is comparable, I will say. I Free, think underrated. better, it, no, better devil it. deals, better devil deals, and, and I agree, but better devil deals is not better than a game-changing aspect of Lilith. You could pick up and spam familiars for free now. Yeah, I guess it makes the familiars a lot better, and I guess there is three buffs in this slot. Your box of friends, less charges is also really good. Yeah, like, honestly, three, three charges is kind of free. Let's talk about greed, the best greed mode character. Three charges now? Hello? I will say... Th three is significantly better than four. Like, you decrease a Way charge. Better. You can use it in rooms. That makes a lot of difference. You can really yeah. use it in rooms. Um, um, is it better than Eternal D6 on Lost? See, that's what I'm, I'm really... Good. That's what I'm really considering. Because Eternal D6 is a great item. Like, let's be real. I think we keep it right there. I think we keep that, that exact order. I think I'm okay with that. I'm okay with either, really. That's interchangeable for me, but I'm okay with that. Um, okay. We got keeper the keepers. Unlocking wooden nickel. The so keepers. The reason keepers here so often is because he unlocks like twenty thousand items. Uh because all of his unlocks were just giving him extra things to start with. So wooden nickel, uh, Bro, definitely the keepers. best one. This is This is game changer TR. It's just exactly game changer TR. I don't know where. Probably you think this is it's probably you, above Isaac D6. Do you think this is the best keeper unlock? No. I'm just saying this is game changer TR. Oh, well you said this is the best one, so I, okay, well, yeah. Um, oh no, I said it's the best in Game Changer. Oh. Yeah, you're right. No, you're right. <laughs> yeah. No, you're right. This um, yeah. This is the first unlock I go for on Keeper. 100%. I go straight to Isaac. 100%. 100 million It feels percent. wrong. 
it feels wrong not having the wooden nickel. It just, it's so and I, important. I say the same thing for Isaac, but it's on a different level. Like Isaac, I do it for a fun factor mo mainly. Like you could definitely do all the runs with base Isaac without D6, it, just fine. I usually Keeper, do, I usually do. I would do the initial runs with him. But like, like it's only yeah. for a fun factor that I always unlock D6. Yeah. Um, this is almost necessary. <laughs> Like, he is significantly worse before he gets the wooden nickel. Yeah. And he's already not that good of a character. Even and guess with, what? Sorry. Even with wooden nickel, uh, he's still an ass character. Yeah. But, like, it's yeah. it's so, like he moves up, like, two tiers because of this item. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this, is one of the, this is one of the active items that I will never drop. And every run I drop it, I yeah. regret it. No, I agree. I almost... All, I can't even think of many times where I drop wooden nickel. I really can't. I, I've, I've dropped it in certain runs because I got a really good active and then I regret it. I'm like, oh, I yeah. really wish I kept the wooden nickel. I mean, really, what actives are better than wooden nickel for Keeper? Nothing. <laughs> yeah. Not really. Like, what is better? Is there another item that gives you money? <laughs> like, that's basically all you need uh, is money. You just need money, yeah. Like, then this is one, it. Yeah, yeah, By yeah. the way, wooden nickel is an um, item way better than people I, I think, think it is. I think there's not much to talk about here. It's just good. It's not holding mantle level, but it's better than D6 Isaac. <laughs> It's just right there. Yeah. Um, it literally is a game changer. This makes the character work. <laughs> yeah, I agree. It makes him work. Like, without... God! Okay. Oh my god, I hate him without Wooden Nickel. It's just... It's really just RNG. Without Wooden Nickel. You just need the money. Yeah. This lets you heal in, in rooms as well. Like, in active rooms. You, you can stock the up the coins. 50% chance. It's actually higher than 50%. And you get, you get more a, a you get more coins to like you get nickels and you get uh like actual yeah. good stuff out of it. Yeah. It isn't it's not just coins. Anyway. Uh yeah. yo, um, the storeroom store room key. key insane. Okay. You start with store key, which I believe just makes shops free. Yes, shops can be open without keys. That's it. It's bad paperclip. No, it's <laughs> better. I'll, I'll say right now, it's way better than well, I'm not gonna say it's way better, but it's better than paperclip. 100%. 100%. On a character that is money related, no, actually, going it. into the shop, 100%. No, it, yeah, it's more relevant on Keeper. I think it's a bigger buff to Keeper. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, I agree. It's right there, though. It's just right there. <laughs> Yee. Um, I, I think that's all we have to say. It's just right there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. You get you free say, shops. On a character that you're focused on money, you always want to go on your shops you, anyway. You, you save a few keys. That's all this is, yeah. but it's nice. <laughs> it's it. nice. Yeah, um, this is nice. Okay, um, bottom of irrelevant. This is what I I would say this is worse than the D4 on the lost. You start with one penny. Uh, this is for beating Hush. It's a meme. You beat the Hush in After Earth Plus. After Earth Plus, by the way. After Earth Plus specifically. You beat <laughs> Hush, you get you start with one penny. That's it. Um, the occasional what I said where um you can occasionally get a re-roll pedestal in uh, a, a restock box in the item room and you can drop the D4 and re-roll it. That makes D4 better than this. I <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> like, honestly, like, okay, you, to be without fair, that, I can see the argument <laughs> for the coin. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, to be fair, this will occasionally, there'll be runs where you're one coin short from being able to buy yeah. it. Or maybe no, there'll be runs where you have exactly enough money. Exactly enough, and it's because of that one coin. I don't care. It's bottom. <laughs> it's bottom irrelevant. <laughs> that, that's the no, dumbest actually, I could see the argument. I could see the argument that it's above D4 just because there will be times yeah. when you have exactly enough money for something. I could see it, but only... Come up more, I could see that it, That actually but... might come up more often than switching out the item pedestal. You that think so? Might. You think so? It might. Restock, restock item machines... Pedestal? I don't know, man. Restock machines are pretty common, and there's a lot of reusable items in the shop. No, but you can't... No, the D4 thing is only for item rooms. You can't restock the um, shop. Oh, you're like, right. Roll the shop oh, you're right, actually. It's only for if you... It's basically if you start the run, your first item room is... Alright, we're memeing. Just leave it below. Alright, this is a dumb buff. <laughs> no, I actually think... I actually think the Keeper Penny might be better than Default Lost. Default Lost it's is one bad. coin, bruh. I'd rather take the no, off chance of re-rolling D4. Okay, I it's, would. It's every... It's every run. There will be eventually a run where you have exactly enough money to buy something on a floor. And there will eventually and be a run where you re-roll D4 into Sacred Heart. <laughs> but I think that the exactly enough money thing is going to be more often on Keeper. Because it's every Keeper. Oh, well, it's not every Keeper. You're not always going to have exactly. But like, All right, I don't fine. know. Alright, fine. He's better. He's an insane. <laughs> D <laughs> D4 lost is just that useless. I think it's funny that it's below Keeper. Like fine. the most useless I like. And D4 lost is still worse. All right, Afterbirth Plus. Okay. Uh, this one, I will admit, it's only here a little bit as a meme. 
but I really wanted to just for the sake of completeness to include it. So, I did not know this. I thought Wooden Nickel was exactly 50-50 to get a penny or not. I thought it gave you a coin 50% of the time. That could be any type of coin. And then 50% it gave you nothing. It's actually not. Ever since After Earth Plus, it's actually higher than 50%. So in After Earth Plus, it's only a 44% chance to get nothing. It's a 50% chance for a penny, 5% for a nickel, and 1% for a dime. Um, you have a higher, you have 6% higher likelihood that when you hit the wooden nickel, you get a coin. 6% higher than it was in Afterbirth. This sounds really irrelevant, but this is your health. This is your health as Keeper, and you can use it in an active room to get an extra hit in the room. 6% higher chance. <laughs> you want to do this to me? <laughs> I think that makes sense. Um, it might. <laughs> um, I do think the Eden start getting being really bad is potentially a bigger downside. And I do think... No, I mean, like, the Eden start being really bad is, like, more likely like to happen but we don't know an extra yeah, an extra si an extra six percent for every use i think that's more applicable than the start for eden i guess it is okay honestly <laughs> is this higher than stalky as well yeah i think so this this might save you runs i don't think it goes higher than this tier but this could save you runs and you won't know um I mean, kind of put it like this. Imagine if the lost 6% of the time when you got hit, your mantle didn't break. Yeah. If you put it from that angle, then it's a game changer. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, I don't think I, it's good. I, I don't, I don't good, think, it's, I think it's good. The way I'll put it is, I don't, think just, it's, I don't think it's even comparable to Razor Blade on Eve. I don't think it's comparable it, it, at all. It's not. But it is better than I thought it was. It is. Yeah, okay. When I, when I started this, I thought that was going to be irrelevant. But honestly, when I'm looking at these other ones, this is definitely more relevant than these. Yeah, that, that's what I meant. Like I, I said, this is actually going to be better than some of the other ones here. Okay, um, Repentance Keeper. Now, this is a good one. Now, I will say we're doing something slightly different. So technically, the third coin heart you get is part of base Repentance. And the Hush Unlock only makes you start with it. You can still get to the third coin, but you just start with two before you get the Hush Unlock. Wait, 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 wait. You're, you're, you're going too quick, you're going too quick. For the repentance only gamers, Keeper used to be the worst character in the game, worse than Lost. He started with two coin hearts in before Repentance. Um, and Repentance gives him the extra third coin heart possibility, but then you could also unlock him starting with that third coin heart, yep. like, on rip. Um... We're it's just starting with it. We're counting the three capabilities of coin hearts into this slot for the coin, coin yes. hearts. Because it just makes more sense that way. Because um, yeah, at the end of um, the day, health ups are pretty common anyway. It like Yeah. Th the fact that yeah. you could have three is... coin hearts is the insane part. Yeah, I would rather talk about both uh, changes separately. So yeah. let's talk about the rep general repentance changes that aren't the extra coin heart. Yeah. The general repentance changes. Quite a few of them. Um, so, Keeper's speed used to be 0 0.85. It is now 0 0.9, so a slight speed buff. You also Huge. got a slight tier buff. It used to be 28. Now it's 27.4, so your tier Insane. is slightly higher. Where does tier delay? Um, it's a tier buff, okay? <laughs> the numbers make it seem less. It, it's tier delay. That's a bad thing, okay? And it goes down, so that's good. Um, oh. Big one. You no longer lose Devil and Angel chance upon taking damage. So before in After Earth Plus, you're like a Red Heart character. You're like you're like Bethany. God, I remember hit, that. It was the worst. And you lose your Devil and Angel chance. But now in Repentance, it's like you're a Soul Heart character, where you can never lose your Devil or Angel chance from taking but damage. But Turt, who cares? Because I still have to lose all my health when taking a Devil deal. Huh, except no, because now Devil Deals cost money, which is huge because before, Devil Deals were useless in After Earth Plus. You couldn't take him because you had two hearts, so you could never take a two heart deal. And if you take a one heart deal, you're now a one hit until you get a HP up. Yeah, it, it would terrible. take, it would take it your money. coin hearts. It used to take your coin hearts. It was one of the reasons why I thought Keeper was one of the worst implemented characters ever. From yeah, a, from a design, to, from a design standpoint, to. Keeper's the dumbest character ever introduced. Yeah. Um, but they finally started making him a little there's, better. There's still more benefits. 
you can't get health down pills. Health down pills were pretty detrimental in Arthur Plus. That's true. It's less so now that you have three hearts, but still can never get health down pills. It's just something you don't have to worry about. Uh, Hematemesis now spawns coins instead of hearts. Actually relevant because now yeah. Hematemesis, like before it would just put you to one coin heart, but now it's probably going to give you back those coins. Yeah, so it that's probably won't do good. anything. Plus some more, um, right? So pills are less risky to take now is my takeaway from that. Health down pills aren't bad anymore. Hematemesis isn't bad anymore. That's good. You can take pills easier. Um, Abaddon used to kill you as Keeper in Alpha Plus. If you took Abaddon, you died instantly. <laughs> so if you had if you had Chaos Curse the Blind and you got Abaddon, you'd literally just lose. In Repentance, it now um it just reduces your amount of coin containers to one. It's still pretty detrimental, but it won't kill you at least. Uh, I Midas's touch can spawn when you're playing Keeper. Previously it couldn't appear. That's minor, but it is a thing. Uh, that's basically it. It's a lot of buffs. The Devil Duel buffs. That's basically that, it. But... Listed like a, a million things. Um, yeah. <laughs> I, so this is the main reason why I wanted to count this slot yeah. as just the coin heart. Because, like, the coin heart in all. Because Which this is already a slot. very... All the yeah. other stuff is still very relevant. Um, yeah. Like, on their own. I am... Hmm. Honestly? This, this is definitely... <laughs> I think it's better than Spectral, and yeah. I was hyping up Spectral a lot. Being able okay, to buy honestly, Devil Deals, no, being no, able no, to wait. buy Devil Deals, you don't get health downs from pills. You, I think this is better than Isaac D6. Ooh. Is it better than Wooden Nickel, though? No. It actually, no. it's probably not. Barely, though. Barely. I actually don't even think I think getting barely. Devil Deals, I think getting Devil Deals is huge, but I do think it Wooden is, is but, but without Wooden Nickel, you can't heal. You just cannot heal. Yeah, you have no money outcome. I, I think it goes right there. It's definitely better than Isaac D6. Keeper needed this. Isaac didn't need the D6. When I really put it that way, is this insane game changer? You have no I, I think way. It's barely not. I, I don't know, man. Barely you not. have, but really imagine a keeper run where you have no money. Well, that is the initial run you unlock the keeper. But and it's awful, and that right? Run isn't that bad? No, it's no, awful. That run's not that bad. It's well, it's bad. only not that bad because you're not going for a hard run. But it's I, I still think awful. It's not as, I think it's not as big as Holy Mantle Lost is. Well, no. I, I think it's still top of Game Changer. I think it needs to be really, really, really good to be there. I, I think guess top of so. Game Changer is perfect for it. I guess so. Um, Now, the third coin heart, though, I think is actually in the Lost here. Yeah, I mean, and all this other stuff for the Repentance buffs for Keeper is great. I mean, look, it's in Game Changer. Like, that's great. Uh, this is why... It needed to be separated. Because, like, this is still insane. Even with all the stuff included. I mean, this is comparable. It really is to Mantle Lost. I don't think it would go above Holy Mantle. I don't think it would. But it would... Yeah. I, I think it was right there. Um, okay, but really think about it for a second, though. Because no... Oh, by the way, um, just since you wanted a reminder, we did hit the one and a half hour mark two minutes ago. That's fine. Uh, we're almost done. Um, yeah. Really think about this, though. Because this, this is an important comparison. I always said, back because I used to do a lot of tier lists before Repentance even came out. I always said Keeper was worse than Lost. He was worse than Lost. And he, he really was. I don't think he was, but I think it is he was. so, so, so close. No, he no, was. The only reason I don't think he was, the only reason I don't think he's necessarily worse is because it was very, very, very easy to break the game in Alpha Plus with Keeper. Um, it was so way easier Keeper, to break the game was, with Lost. You get free devil deals. No, no, Lost is just power, but Keeper was actually like infinite items break the game. But so it was Keeper still the kind of same amount of hits. hits. No, it was sa it's still the same amount of hits, though. You're no, basically saying, comparing... Of, no, I'm so, I'm just saying I played a lot of Keeper in Off Earth Plus. He's not as bad as people thought he was, but he was still really bad. <laughs> I, I think it's no question he was worse than Lost. Because you're, anyway, comparing, the point. you're comparing that's Mantle the Lost to non-buffed Keeper. I think it's beside the point. Uh, <laughs> anyway, my point stands. I... Well, uh, no. Okay, no. Yeah, I, I'm actually double back on myself because if I put it that way, if I compare base keeper to no mantle lost, then it's a different yeah. story. No mantle loss is rough. Yeah. You just flat yeah. out die in one hit. Right here, I don't. I don't think anything goes above the loss, and I don't think anything beats the three coin hearts on keeper either. Besides the loss, I think yeah, these I are the top I two. Think I think so these are the only two in this tier. I, I don't think see I don't really see anything beating Wooden Nickel either, and I think Wooden Nickel is top of the game changer, so I think that's just stays. Yeah, you're when, right. when you made that extra tier, this is the two things I was thinking. Exactly. Because like, they're on a different level. Levels. They really on a, are on a different <laughs> yeah. level from everybody else. 
Yeah. I could unironically see the argument for Wood Nickel being bottom of insane. But... I, I think it's just just not good enough. That, but it's still really good, obviously. I do um, still think the three hearts. Ah, but the thing is, is that if you don't have money to heal, then what's the point of the extra heart? You s still can get money. I, I, I just... Mm. Not consistently. <sighs> not consistently true, but... It's super inconsistent. That is a good point, actually. That is a good point. I mean, I'm not that saying it's like... Point. I'm not saying it's... Com it's like... Like, like again... Like, I'm not saying that it's better than Three Hearts, because I don't Ooh, think it is. Oh, you might be right. Maybe it is in the top tier. Maybe it is. Because you can't heal. You're kind of right. Because I do feel it. Whenever I drop the one nickel, I feel it. I actually think this makes more sense. Okay, but in in Repentance, when you have the third coin heart, we are assuming you have one nickel. Because one nickel is an After Earth Plus unlock. But it doesn't matter. It's the same thing. You still I mean, can't. Yeah, no, you're, you still yeah, can't heal. You know, you know even what? in in you afterbirth, you still can't heal. I think you've convinced me. It is kind of kind of massive. It's it's not yeah. even kind of. It's massive, flat out. I mean, yeah, no, that's fine. You know what it reminds me of? Without one nickel, keeper is like tainted Laz before the the rework. Yeah. <laughs> He's Ooh, just like, hard for no like reason. Well. Anyway, He's hard for no anyway. reason. Uh, um, I think we should speed up slightly. We have 25 minutes left. Yeah. Uh, we should finish in time. Okay, um, Apollyon. So Apollyon, uh, two changes to Void. Uh, the big one is that the tier, uh, the tier increase from Void is now a flat rate. It, it goes over the tier cap, uh, which I think is quite good. Um, and then the second change to Void this is a minor one, but it is nice. Uh, you can Void things when you're holding them over your head. So you can take a blind item, oh, yeah. see what it is, and then decide if you want to Void it. I love that change. Um, but also, but I think uh, it going over the tier cap is very nice. Uh, very, very nice. For any void item, you just go over the tier tier cap? That tier stat you get is, it will always go over the tier cap. So if you later get to 5, it will get you to 5.5. I mean, that That's alone is huge, I will say. Going yeah. past tier cap is really good in Isaac. And you can spam it. You can keep getting that tier cap up. So, um, yeah. I Man, I know huge is really overfilled, but I, do, I never want to drop speed up maggie to good i know i was thinking about it as well and I, i'm like i don't think it should it, be it, down it, there, so it's like... it's not comparable at all it's still way bigger than these two you know yeah um if anything we need to split huge into two tiers that are like huge and less huge <laughs> <laughs> no we don't need more tiers <laughs> we really don't need more tiers maybe we'll get more goods yeah. let's just keep it going yeah um but i do definitely think this is still huge it's tier cap and yeah, uh, okay, um, unironically, blind items being able to pick up and then on the dot void if it's bad, that that's really useful. Yeah. Especially with alt yeah. path now being a thing. Yeah. Um I true. don't think it's as broken as full health. Um yeah, I don't think so. I think it's better than pills though. I could agree yeah, with that. I do think it's better than pills. I could agree with that. Yeah, no, I think it goes right there. I like that. Start, breaking the tier cap is kind of awesome. Oh, it's insane. And your pills don't do that for, for Kane. Yeah. Um, okay. Forgotten. This is actually a small one. This might be just a good. Um, he, uh, but you, you can take devil deals with bone hearts now. That's really it. Um, I mean, yeah, before you, ha before you had to take devil deals with the soul and that was three soul hearts. Now you can just spend one bone heart to get a devil deal, or two bone hearts to get a two heart deal. I, I, I think it's that, just good. Yeah, I was about to say the same thing. I think it's top of good, though. Yeah, I think it is. Granted, even with this, though, this isn't really the same as, like, Keeper or Lost, where they kind of need devil deals. Like, Forgot was already an okay character. Like, you're fine. He was already a good character. Sorry. The, yeah, like, Forgotten... And most of the time, you don't even want to lose your bone heart, even on top of that. Like, bone hearts are very yeah. valuable. And you could, like, yeah, sometimes you're taking it with the soul anyway. So, yeah, but it is nice you have the option. Yeah, I having the sure. option is always nice. I, I think it's more relevant than these two, realistically. Well! Yeah. Uh, stacking Book of Belial in the same room is what Judas is. I think stacking I, Book of Belial I, is better. I, I think the bone heart deals are better because I was actually all, almost thinking the bone heart deals might be better than speed up on Maggie. Oh, there's no way for that. 
I, I, I'll meet you in the middle I, of that. I think I'll, it's I'll topical. This, I guess. I think it's topical. Good. Okay. Tender Kane. Okay, this is an interesting one. Let me list all of us. Okay, one thing. We are not considering how Tender Kane was at the very beginning of Repentance, because that was unintended. He was not meant to have recipes that persisted over every run. He was meant to be what he is now, where it is... You're meant to, like, figure out the recipes on the run you're currently on. You're not meant to know them beforehand. So we're not considering that nerf. It is a nerf, but we're not considering that at all. So assuming he was always... You had recipes that changed uh, changed per run. Uh, what changed with Tainted Cane? So... Uh, his recipe system now allows for golden pennies, golden pills, and golden batteries. Um, so that's good. You can get better consumables in your bag. Also, your recipes are now more consistent when you put in high quality in the bag. So you're more likely to get good items when you put in good things. So you're going to get better items more often if you follow the rules of the bag. Um, you can pick up items from Genesis now, uh, which I think is personally huge because I think Genesis is tainted uh, Kane's best item. I think you win every time you get Genesis. Um, and I think this is a big one. You get is um, regular Kane stats. Before you had base Isaac stats. Now you have Kane stats. So you have lower range, but you have higher speed and you have a damage, damage multiplier, multiplier 100 yeah. times. I think speed up and damage up is huge because getting boss rush and harsh as Kane is hard and those those stat ups will help a lot. The speed is good and the, the damage multiplier is going to help a lot as well. Um, and then also... Actually, that's it. Um, there is one nerf we might talk about later, but uh, those are all the positives. This is... Um... You get better... Oh, oh, wait, no, there, there is one more. I, I forgot. There is one more. Uh, before, if you crafted an item that you didn't have unlocked yet, it would default to breakfast. But now, if you craft an item that you don't have unlocked yet, it just picks a new item of similar quality. Which I also think is quite good, because before, yeah. you put a lot of good things in the bag, it would say breakfast. You're like, okay, that's useless. Yeah. Now you have to waste consumables in your bag. But now you'll just, you don't have to worry, worry about that anymore. I'm, I'm super biased. I do agree that with stuff like Genesis is really good for this character, right? Um. Uh, what where would you put it? Honestly, uh, I think it's I think it's huge. I don't think it's game changer, but it's huge. Um. Yeah, he just gets so many buffs. I think the Tain I think starting with Kane stats is huge. Uh, Genesis is a bit more niche because you have to actually get Genesis on the run. But like, that's True. one of the items I aim for. I go for angel items that are high quality. And if I get Genesis, I win. Because uh, uh, you just craft a bunch of really low like, items, like really cheap items, and then Genesis them, and they get way better and they win. Um, I think he is... Ooh. I'm looking at, like... I, my My gut is telling me it's lower than full health. I was looking around this range. I was thinking he might be a little bit higher. Okay, how much higher? Is he? I was comparing him to Lilith, I think. Honestly, call me crazy. I think he's second. I think he's second in the tier. Like, right behind the last. I don't know. You start with Kane stats. I think he's really nice. Like, boss rush and harsh are hard marks on Tainted Kane. I think, I think Lilith, starting with Kane stats I, helps. I, I keep going back to the familiars all being behind you. Man, having all the incubuses I think next Kane, to each other. I think Tainted Kane needed these changes more. I think I... they've made him way more of a playable character. Because before, like, if you never had the guaranteed crafts, then he wasn't that good of a character. But I think they made him a lot more playable. No, he was still OP. Better perks. Uh, the thing with Tainted Kane is that He's the most min-maxable character in the game. Even before buffs. Yeah. Yeah. Slash nerfs. Like, he's so min-maxable. It doesn't really... Like, yes, they are 100% buffs, what you just listed, but, like... I just don't think they're as relevant to this character since he was already good. He's a good character. I don't like him. I guess. But he's he's the most min-maxable right character. There. He is I the most. Right he there. was always the most min maxable character, and yeah, I think that on a character that was by to a lot of people a bad character, Lilith, that was an insane buff buff for Lilith. Was I can see that being yeah. able to take whatever familiars you want, especially in combination with Cambi and Conception. Yeah, I can see that. Okay. okay. Um. 
This one's I did want to maybe one. talk about where we would put Tainted Kane if we consider the nerf. Uh, the nerf is that uh, among all those bosses, you get one nerf that um you can no longer craft an active item to get like special room payouts. Like normally, if you replace your active item, it breaks the active item you used to have. And if you do that in like a secret room, you'll get bone hearts. Um, if we consider that nerf, he's obviously a lot lower. I don't think we're going to consider it because we're 15 minutes and then we're in two hours. We're, we hit two hours, so I think we just try to wrap it up. Um, okay, tainted Azazel. Tainted Azazel. So um, he got reworked a little bit. He now has the Brimstone Sickness. Uh, when he hits an enemy with a sneeze, they get Brimstone Sickness, and if you kill them with that, they explode and they spread the Brimstone Sickness to other enemies. Uh, it's quite nice. Also, you do extra damage. You do like double the damage on them if they have Brimstone Sickness, which is huge. Um, also, uh, before, it used to be that you had to let go of your Brimstone Beam early to sneeze, and you wouldn't get the beam. You just had to end the charge early. Now, he sneezes immediately as he press the fire button. So as soon as you press fire, he sneezes. And if you hit the sneeze, his beam charges at half the speed. So it's a, just a lot. This might be a gameplay change, for, like gameplay, like how you play the character type of thing. But I'm glad they made the sneeze a lot better because I used to think the sneeze was honestly awful to even use. Yeah, me too. I barely used it. Uh, there was actually really no point to using it. Uh, but now but it actually is good. It's part of the it character. is good, but I still feel like it's only good against enemies. No, it's really good against it's really good against bosses. Because you really? sneeze them and you do double damage to the boss. You do double damage. Yeah, but there's so many bosses, especially late game, that you're never sneezing. Like you're never getting no, close I, enough I to sneeze. sneeze. I sneeze. I I try to sneeze all the time. At least. You sneeze I, hush. I'll, I'll find an opportunity. You sneeze hush yes. and delirium. Yes. How the hell are you yes. getting that close maybe to delirium? Not, maybe not delirium. Delirium's a bit too fast, but I do sometimes find opportunities. But hush, 100%. Yes. All right, fair enough. Where would you put him? I think he's better than good. I oh, but maybe he's not. <laughs> is he better than speed up? I, think I okay, he is okay, I think okay. He is. Let me put it this way: with this character, what's better, the brim or the sneeze? Both. The sneeze makes the brim better. <laughs> so you no. go for the sneeze and then you brim them. That's the whole. But that, point. that's the point. It's a like, setup. It's a setup, though. The brim is still better. Yeah, but the brim does doesn't do that much damage but when you sneeze them it does twice the damage i look if i if you don't know how important the sneeze is tender zazel i don't think you're playing him right <laughs> it is so important it is and it used to not be a thing uh... it used to just not exist like it did exist but it was useless but now it actually is useful. i mean it is i'm speaking i'm thinking of specific bosses I don't think it's an issue. It's, it's not that bad to get uh, uh, up close. And remember, the sneeze is completely additional. You don't have to use it. And you can be the same tainted as we used to be. But you have the option. And if you use that option, it's really good. Um, I find where. I like it quite a lot. I think it's better than tainted cane pills. I think it's better than void. Ooh, better than it void be is better a hot take. Better than tear I think it's better cap? than void worse than Maggie. I think it is. I think it's better than Void and worse than Mikey. Better than Tear Cap? And being able to avoid it's... question mark items? I mean, that Void buff is like one of the only ways that you could actually check a question mark item. I don't know. I think it's I think it's better. In fact, I actually think it might go even higher. <laughs> like... I was going to put it uh... at top of good. Um... I know I haven't been doing this much. I've, I've really been letting you place wherever you want for a lot of these. I think I'm going to weigh in my own feelings on it a little bit. I'm just going to leave it here. Okay, I, I'm okay with that. <laughs> I'm okay with it. I still think it's, it's there's a lot of times where it's still too low range, I think. I guess. I guess. That's fine. Um, we can leave it there. Okay, Tainted Laz. Uh, Tainted Lies became a character. <laughs> That's okay. what Tainted Lies got. I, so, for anybody who was unfortunate enough to beat the uh, achievements before he got buffed, and me. Um, me as well. <laughs> I like uh, Tainted Lies. Trust me, he was bad before. <laughs> he was debatably, like, lost caliber bad. Like He he might have been worse than lost. I'm he really might have been. Okay, he no, really might have been. I'll put it this way. I'll put it this way. He had nothing I think going it took for me him. Less, 
I think it took me less time to complete all of Tainted Lost completion marks. I think I died more, but it took me less time to complete all the Tainted yeah. Lost marks. Because the Laz Tainted Lost runs would take longer, and then you die. Laz runs, you were required to min-max. And honestly, even now, you're still required to min-max a lot of the time. But um, He's actually good now, though. He's not good. Like, there's a big difference. He's still lower than mid-characters. If I had to choose between he's, him and base Isaac, I'd pick base, I'd pick base Isaac every day. He's above average. He's I'd pick base SPL. Isaac every day over... You're wrong. You're wrong. Anyway, that's a different video. Different video. Base <laughs> Isaac oh. is way better than, ta than new video. Tainted Laz. Different video. Anyway. Different video. <laughs> uh, anyway, it does change him from a bad for no reason character into at least a character who has okay. a reason. So... Flip, flip didn't do anything before, so you literally just got half items and that was it. Now, when you flip an item pedestal, you get a second item behind it. Uh, for most item pedestals, they have to... There's rules to it, but most of the time you'll get a second item. It's really good in, in, in devil deals. You can get double, like, basically a half cost devil deal because you're getting twice the items for the same price. Um, yeah, and um, there's a lot of items now that share between both forms. Um, one thing that didn't was polar and negative before. You could, you could touch the chest as the wrong form and end the run accidentally. It was dumb. Uh, yeah. The character was unfinished. <laughs> the character was um, unfinished. I, you know, and honestly, it could go as high as even this, and eh, probably like this. Ooh. Honestly, it really could go this high. I mean, it it, it was, was, was it was really that bad. Worse was he worse than After Earth Plus Keeper? He actually might have been. Uh, no. He was just bad. I mean, Keeper was also bad for no reason, but like, at least Keeper had triple shot. <laughs> no, I think it's right here. I think it's right there. I just hate it, seeing him here because like, he's just like, like, he's just not finished. <laughs> <laughs> like, he wasn't even really a character. Like, but I mean, it's, it still makes sense to put him up here. I mean, it does. Yeah. Whatever, fine. Um, I mean, I would make another tier, um, but I, I like our tiers. Whatever. Yeah. Um. Okay. Tainted Eden. Uh, Tainted Eden got a few things. Uh. So there's only one that is like actually Tainted Eden, but then there's two changes that are to D4 in general, which I am including. Oh, so I'm like, assuming like that Tainted this buff is. I'm assuming this buff is crazy. Um. It's, it's actually the HP not thing, right? really that crazy. Uh, it is the HP thing. So um, before, if you had, if you rolled into max HP and then you rolled out of it, you lost HP, which was kind of dumb. Uh, so that that's fixed now. I think it applies to dead cat as well. I think before you rolled into dead cat and you got set to one heart and you didn't get yeah. it back. Now if you roll that's off like of dead ass. cat, you get those hearts back, which is probably the nicest part because now going devils is actually like kind of viable, um, especially if you D four like. Um, so there's that. There's there's that with the health. Um, there's transformations. So repentance changed it so that D4 effects. D4 effects in After Earth Plus, you used to keep the transformations forever. Repentance changed it so that only the first time you get the transformation, you get it. And if you roll out of it, you lose it. But you never got it back. So they updated in repentance so that now you get the transformation back again as long as you have the three items again. So that's huge. Um, you So you now get transformations. Before, transformations are off the table. You could never get Guppy. You'd get it once for one reroll, you'd lose it, it's gone forever. Now you can get Guppy as long as you roll back into three Guppy items. Uh, so there's the HP thing, uh, the transformations, and then there's one change, which is a bit of a side grade, but I I'll read it out. Painted Eden no longer rerolls on self-inflicted damage, such as blood donation and curse rooms. Oh, well, that's insane. Eden no longer rerolls on fatal damage. I Wait, actually don't a, think it's a side grade. good. Wait, now you could use I blood donation machines. Good. No, you're wrong. There's sometimes I want to... There's sometimes I want to re-roll, and the only option I have to re-roll is a fire, but a fire will make me lose devil chance. And sometimes that's relevant. When do you not have soul that hearts? That is... Okay, but you have to lose your soul hearts. Whoa. But I wish I could just hit a blood donation machine, lose a half red heart, and re-roll. But there is times where I don't want to lose, uh, where I don't want to re-roll when I want to play blood. I, I don't... So I, I mean, I, I get, I get what you're saying, but I don't think it's, ne it's a side grade at all. I think it's, it's, it's probably huge. It's I think probably it's better. I think it's huge in comparison. What you said is such a uh, niche scenario. The, the the times when I want to use blood donation machines without re-rolling is way more often. Is way more often because you I, could abuse it. You go into curse rooms. 
Yeah, but can't you ab abuse the blood dono to re-roll into a build you want that's good? But you, you can't do that now. But who cares? You can do the same know. thing on anything. You can't do it on Cursed Rooms. Cursed Rooms itself seems like damage as well. But that's good! I don't want to! If I want to go into my Cursed Room while not re-rolling anything, then I'm screwed. I can't okay. go into the Cursed anyway, Room. Where, where do you want to rank this? Well, that actually makes me rank it up a whole tier. That's huge. That's not a side grade at all. That's insane. Um, okay, well, I think the I think the um, transformations and the HP is quite important. Well, the HP is, I think the, the HP is the most important. Uh, let me don't get it twisted. Yeah. The HP is the most important. Yeah. Um, I mean, you know, you used to like Turk just said, you used to reroll into Dead Cat, and then your run would just end. It sucked ass. Um, you just had one heart. You reroll off. Now you have one heart. <laughs> it's so stupid. Right. He was again. He was an incomplete character back then, but now yeah, um, he's a lot better. And I actually love this character, but not really talking about how much I love him. I like him, him as well. Um, uh, I mean, God, the health thing is... Uh, you know what? I'm going to be honest, that's a game changer. Just the health. Without the other stuff. It kind of is. Tainedian was really bad before, and now Tainedian's a lot better. He's way uh, better. I can kind of see it. He's actually playable um, now. He wasn't even really playable I, before. I would say, I would say this might be better than... Spectral tears. I would when including the other things. And I actually might say it's better than. Is it better than Isaac? I think it is. Oh. I think this is. I think this is, I think this is a keeper repentance situation where the character was bad and had a lot of flaws, and now those flaws are kind of gone. No, you're right. You're right. So I think it's better than Isaac D6. I don't think it's good to keep it though. Keep it's way better. But ah, uh, like what? yeah. I think that. I think it makes sense. What was keepers again? Being able to buy double deals, stuff like that. Uh, buying devil deals and not losing devil chance on the main ones, but there's some other like stat buffs and stuff in there as well. It's All right, whatever, just keep it. I think that's very valid. Yep. Um, okay, uh, this is a minor one. This is a minor one. Uh, your Jello now auto targets towards enemies. It used to just fire forward. Now it will aim towards the enemy. When you shoot, that's all, that's all this is. Yeah, when you shoot. Does anybody actually that's shoot this, this character? Um, <laughs> not really. <laughs> <laughs> Does anybody really shoot with this character, bro? I feel like it'd be un. I feel like it would be disingenuous to make it irrelevant. I, I think it's good. I think it's bottom of good, though. Yeah, I was going to say the same thing, actually. It's uh, just, it's just, it's nice. nice. There is times where you do need to shoot, and when you need to shoot, it's better. I think when you have Brimstone, like, that sounds really good, right? Oh, it's a lot better with Brimstone, yes. Yeah, no, so there is times, and I think it's probably a bit more impactful than Keeper getting... A coin six percent more often uh is it i don't know this affects every run but you're not really using the shooting that you're really often. not using it that often <laughs> you're like barely ever using it but i mean when you're using you it it does help quit. yeah when you are yeah. using no, there it, are, it there help. are time okay no one problem with tangela is sometimes you get a lot of tear synergy yeah and if you keep using it, sometimes your tears become so good with your tear synergy that you it's better than the whip and in that scenario, this is a huge buff. So I think it's bottom of good. I think I think yeah. in certain runs, this I, is I think I think it's valid. There's a lot of times where it's yeah. a, where it's completely irrelevant, but there's also a lot of times where it's huge. So I think going in bottom yeah. of good is insane. okay. And here's another big buff: tainted Jacob. Okay, uh, this is kind of like a tainted Lazarus level. Probably not as high, but it's kind of. Um, if I can find the character, okay. Uh, oh, okay. Here's one: you can pick up health when you're in the lost form now. So before, when you get hit by Isa, you couldn't oh, pick yeah. up health. No soul hearts, nothing. I mean, the health now is lost. I can um, explain. I can explain this one. The main, you know, whatever, whatever else you're gonna say, whatever. The main thing about this buff is that I, you, now you don't kill Esau. You used to be able to yeah. kill Esau, and it would turn you into the lost automatically when you do kill Esau in a room. That yeah, was bad because you accidentally you accidentally get too much damage. Awful. You kill him on accident, and now you're lost without holy mantle. It it uh, it literally he was the only character he was I should say the only character that makes you not want to get too OP because if you get too OP you just lose. <laughs> it actually wasn't that bad because the strategy is as soon as you enter a room you animus solar instantly. He sells outside of the room and you can kind of fight the room without. No, I'm talking about I'm and, talking I'm talking about I've gotten those runs where like you min max to all crap. And then, like, you're, the entire screen gets filled. <laughs> no, no, that's what I mean. You anima solar before Esau enters the room. So you enter the room, you anima solar. Esau's off the screen. 
Well, if you, have spectral, you, it's, rooms, if, you, you know. if you have spectral, it still hits him. And if you have spectral, you're screwed. But here's another <laughs> issue. Uh, Isao could just touch red poops. There, there's that one chest room with all the red poops. Isao just dies instantly in that room. He just walks into the red poop, dies. Like, <laughs> um, Man. that's gone now, though. Um, yeah, yeah I, uh, I, this is, this is an, I mean, God, is it on the same level oh, here's another as these thing. other ones? Here's another thing. Uh, Tainted Isa used to always um, charge at you from eight directions. He was locked to cardinals and exact 45 degree diagonals. Now he goes. Now it's any direction. Yeah. Okay. The reason that matters is it's because you before, attack if you were. No, 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 no. The reason it matters is because sometimes you'd be on an awkward angle and he would move like diagonally, but you're not really in that spot and he'll move like diagonally above you and you'll walk into him. I see what you're saying. But now that he always charges your exact position, if you move away, he will miss you. All right. Um, what are, what are we thinking? Huge. What are we thinking? Um. Ooh, what are we thinking? There's some other small boss as well. Um, his his damage ignores bo the dark east side damage ignores boss armor now. Um, it blocks enemy tiers only. Um, Esau just blocks enemy tiers. Um, he keeps a minimum distance away from the player when not charging as well. How about so we bottom of insane? As close to you. Um. Uh. Wait. Oh, and here's another big one. Uh, you no longer turn into the lost if you're invincible with like uh a chariot effect or something when. Tainted Isao hits you. Uh, so Book of Shadows works against him now. Um, okay. Honestly, yeah. Uh, is it better than Keeper? It no. Was nickel? You can't heal with Keeper. <laughs> like, you could still just fine. not get hit. That is fine. Tainted Jacob was never as bad as Tainted Lazarus. Um, even pre uh, buff. And I think a no wooden nickel keeper would be worse than. Ten yeah, no, I think that's. I don't know. Tane Jacob was pretty like uh, had problems. He did have problems, but I I don't, I don't know. I never found him that bad. I did do him before the buffs, and it wasn't too bad. I there was one too. bug with Mega Satan which made it unplayable. Mega Satan, you had to kill Esau because Mega Satan would think Esau's an enemy, and you'd have to kill him to progress the Mega Satan waves. That sucked, but that was a bug. Um, everything else wasn't too bad with Tane Jacob. And I honestly think no Nickel Keeper would be harder. So I think that's right. Yeah. All right. I think I like where we ended up. I'm glad that I was able to... Honestly, one of my favorite arguments here was the Spectral Lost argument. Because I really... Yeah. I, I didn't even think about it. But going back to Rebirth, Spectral is really an integral part of this character. It's just something you don't realize. So stuff like that, I think... Um, I think this is this was a good list to talk about. I really liked it. Um, there, yeah, are, there are no, I, no other changes we want to make. The tiers are mostly even other than huge, which is fine. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, you know, they're huge buffs. What can I say? Um, yeah. I, I still think the gap is pretty massive between good and huge. I still think this buff is way better than any of these. So yeah, I kind of agree. Do we want to quickly consider where Tandy Kane would go if we consider that you lose the, uh, special room, uh, with your active items? No.